we're, we're absolutely right here. Eng England must have won the toss. England oh. have won the toss because they will attack down to this end in the second half. Here's the car coming. The remote control car is bringing the ball out to the referee, Bjorn Kuypers. Italy, blue shirts, black shorts, blue socks. We're about to get underway. Italy with Donnarumma, Di Lorenzo, Bonucci, Chiellini and Emerson. Barella, Jorginho and Verratti, Chiesa, Immobile and Insegna. And England with Pickford, Walker, Stones and Maguire. 3-4-3. Trivia, Phillips, Rice and Shaw. Mount, Sterling and Kane. It will be Italy who get the Euro 2020 final underway after the players take a knee and applause all around Wembley Stadium for that. The players of both sides joining in with the gesture. And here we are. The moment has arrived at Wembley. This is the biggest football match for England for 55 years. The biggest sporting occasion this country has stayed since 1966 say some certainly the biggest football match and England all in white playing from right to left win the ball back for the first time on the halfway line Calvin Phillips with a touch and the ball's deflected out of play for a point for England five or six yards inside the Italian half so it is Italy against England in the final here at Wembley the final's on BBC One television tonight. You can listen to our excellent friends and colleagues, Guy Mowbray and Jermaine Genus, or you can watch with our five live commentary, all synced up via the iPlayer or the red button. Uh, and you can also get involved on the BBC Sport website live pages. But the match is underway, the final is underway. Oh, there's a heavy touch by Maguire who turned under pressure and has passed the ball straight out of play for a corner and, and exchanges words with Jordan Pickford but what an unforced error that was by Harry Maguire yeah, very very shaky start from England and Harry Maguire trying to pass the ball back to Jordan Pickford straight out of play, Italian corner Italian corner from the right so England have got to be strong here in the early stages in the second minute it's going to be taken by Little Insignia Lots of Italian movement. In it comes towards the penalty spot. And it's cleared away by Harry Maguire who got there first on the volley. Up towards the halfway line. Mason Mount is there. More Chelsea players in this Italian starting lineup than there are England players in the England team. Harry Kane takes it on into the centre circle. Here's the ball out to Trippier on the right hand side. Trippier with a cross towards the back post. Shaw scores on the volley! England lead in the second minute of the final what a finish by the Manchester United man that was wing back to wing back the left foot finish what a start for England in the final Italy nil, England won well from one end to the other it's a devastating break from England Harry Kane taking the ball from deep the ball out to the right hand side it's Kieran Trippier who does so so well sure into Kane Kane on the half turn inside his half drops the ball out to the right hand side Walker with the overlap takes a man with him and Trippier stands the ball up far post Luke Shaw six yards out on the half volley controls it brilliantly with his left foot, the ball sails over Di Lorenzo's head and it's laces from Shaw. In off the near post, no chance for Donnarumma. What a start from England. What a time to score your first goal for England, Luke Shaw. It's his birthday tomorrow. He's 26. What a controlled finish. You said it, Chris Sutton. He didn't rush at it. He just measured it and hit it on the bounce. It kissed the post and flew past Donnarumma. So England lead by one goal to nil. Ball over the top for Sterling through the middle, but that's won by Chiellini. And England in front. England against the Italians. The Italians on this 33-match unbeaten run. And they've not conceded more than one goal in any of their last 36 matches. But they've already conceded in this one. Harry Maguire, after that nervy early moment, heads the ball down. Declan Rice, now Mount, is impeded. And that's a 
free kick which is given by uh, referee Bjorn Kuipers that was his club mate Jorginho he won the free kick from yeah, what, what a start what a noise echoing around Wembley Stadium Mason Mount has actually started on the left hand side we thought he was going to start off the right and Sterling on the left for England maybe Harry Maguire had a plan John when he kicked out for a, a corner for Italy early on do you think so lull them into a false sense of security well Maguire strikes this free kick now down the left hand side that's where Harry Kane is he's up against the Italian right back Di Lorenzo oh and then uh, in comes in comes the challenge from Mason Mount which uh, which sent Jorginho spiralling to the ground and he won a free kick absolutely and, you know interesting isn't it you know we, we talked about team selection Trippier coming in for Saka has Gareth gambled again it was Trippier with the cross wasn't it for Luke Shaw wing back to wing back and England ahead well if you're on your way home and you've just switched on You've missed the opening goal of the final and then Calvin Phillips has picked up for a foul in the centre circle. The referee is going to have a firm word with Calvin Phillips, but no more than that. That was Barella again on the wrong end of that challenge. So 1-0 to England. Five Live and BBC Sounds. The World Service are with us. And so are many of the BBC local radio stations around England. So welcome to you all from Wembley Stadium under grey skies the smoke of the red arrows has disappeared and Italy are on the attack down the right hand side with Chiesa but England clearing away huge cheer again around 65,000 inside Wembley Stadium for the final and Mason Mount heading it forward Declan Rice then wins ahead of it Chiesa's got it back and Chiesa up to the edge of the penalty area Shaw comes into the challenge takes him down it's a free kick to Italy that was quite a heavy challenge by Shaw on Chiesa, who's still sitting on his backside, but it's just a free kick. Yeah, Shaw commits. Chiesa does really well, diminutive player. Good dribbler off the right-hand side, and starting off the right-hand side for Italy. But this is within range. 25 yards out, right-hand side of the box. Little Insignia over the ball. Insigne is over the ball and so is Emerson, Emerson as well Emerson is actually striding it out as if he's going to hit it Jordan Pickford is standing on his left post so the angle is from the right there's a, an England wall of four there's a man sitting behind it it's Insigne who curls it over the wall but over the bar as well and England survived that first scary moment and continue to lead by one goal to nil the early goal from Luke Shaw of all people to score the goal in the final down pitch side again to Karen Carney well he has to start England to start like the red arrows and wow what a start that was if you go and watch the goal you should see Kyle Walker and Trippier as soon as Kane gets it they're on their bike they're going and fantastic as you said wing back to wing back but now I see the attitude of the England players calm down Gareth Southgate the back five relax let's calm it down now I must say I'm already thinking back to Moscow and the semi-final against Croatia in the World Cup when England took an early lead and there was euphoria there and then things slowly really Come went on, downhill. Come on John, that's just a word of caution. Negative. Just a word of caution Chris, that's all. And Gareth Southgate, you'll be delighted uh, Chris, he's got his Mac yeah, back from Mac. tonight. Yeah. He has on this rainy North London evening. Here's the goal scorer, the new hero, Luke Shaw. Totally out of the picture before Christmas in terms of an England comeback. And now here he is starting the final. Shawberto Carlos himself <laughs> scoring the goal for England. Yeah, I wonder what Jose made of that. <laughs> yes. Yes, Sterling. Sterling is uh, bundled over just near the centre circle. Chiellini. Chiellini's getting him up with a headlock. Oh, yes, he's... <laughs> <laughs> Lovely touch, lovely that. He, he was he was very hands-on, Chiellini, on Sterling as he tried to lift him up. So it is 1-0 to England. Here's Luke Shaw, who plays the ball into the body of Di Lorenzo. And uh, it's a throw into England down the left. It's Shaw, 
is going to take. You can smell. It smells like cordite in the air. I don't know if smoke bombs were let off when England scored, but the noise was absolutely incredible when that when that goal went in. I mean the. The people inside the stadium were pumped up enough because of the opening ceremony, the Red Arrows of course, seeing England come out, the anthem, and then that finish from Luke Shaw, here is Shaw, to Kane, Kane now moving inside, four goals in the tournament, it's uh, Walker who slips the ball through to Trippier, Trippier's ball across, it's just blocked on the edge of the six yard box, and Italy are able to clear it away, oh and then uh, Walker rather dived in there, and uh, and that is a free kick. It was actually the second challenge that came in from Trippier. But Walker, I think, with the initial foul. And referee Kuypers is just going to have a word there as well. Italy free kick. Yeah, what a pass from Kyle Walker. Often criticised for his distribution. The ball played inside. Insigne to Trippier. He was on the overlap there. He fist in across. And Chiellini, experienced centre-half. Right place at the right time. Made the clearance. Italy nil, England one. BBC Radio 5 Live, live from Wembley, and Italy on the move. The ball played into the penalty area, but it's beyond the run of him over there, and Pickford is able to come forward and collect. The official timing of the goal, 1 minute and 57 seconds. And uh, the FA president, Prince William, the Duke of Cambridge, is up in the Royal Box on the opposite side of the stadium. And uh, the Duchess of Cambridge is there as well. She's had a busy day presenting the trophy to Novak Djokovic down at Wimbledon earlier. And, uh, and Prince George is having a, another late night out as, not, as well tonight. They're in there. Tom Cruise is in there as well. Kate Moss is also in the director's box. Fabio Capello, Wayne Rooney, all the stars. Here's Kane on the halfway line. Kane turns and he's just caught there and it's a free kick. As, uh, that's given... After the challenge came in, Verratti wasn't that little Verratti, yeah. Harry Kane snapping and snarling. Verratti, Kane winning the free kick, and I think Kane just followed through when he followed through when he was brought down. And a little collision with Barella, who's moving very gingerly. Just watching the goal again from Shaw. It's an incredible finish. Normally, players would open the foot out. Try a little side foot half volley finish. Luke Shaw laces it and laces it to brilliant effect. Maguire takes the free kick and play gets underway again with England 1 0 up in the final. Harry Kane works away and then plays a lovely ball out to the right hand side. Trippier with the control. The cross though is over the top of Sterling. However, Di Lorenzo at the back post under no particular pressure puts it out for a corner. But that was another opening for England. And Kane coming deep. A little nutmeg in midfield. I don't know what nutmeg is in Italian. Spreads the ball out wide and Trippier on fault on his mind. Early cross. Sterling peeled away beyond Chiellini but the ball a little bit too long. Di Lorenzo takes no chances. Puts it behind. Yep, he didn't get it right this time, Trippier. But he got it right for the goal, and that's what matters. And uh, Trippier has come across to take a right-footed corner from the left. So England lining up the three big men, McGuire and Stones and Kane. Here it is from Trippier to the back post. Donnarumma comes, and he has a little juggle, but makes a good catch outside his six-yard box. And then underarms it out, and Italy are on the move. Oh, and uh, there was a dive in the centre. It's him overly again. He's yeah. better than that. He's got previous. I'm not sure he is better than that, Chris. <laughs> Here's Stones passing the ball forward to Sterling, the local hero. Takes the ball on now, running at the Italian defence. What a start this is to the final. The atmosphere, the vibrancy inside Wembley, under the arch, is quite something to behold. Here's Rice now, giving it to Mason Mount, and then back into the centre of the field to Declan Rice. Calvin Phillips with a touch. Shaw, lovely ball from Shaw into the space for Mount. Mount now takes on the defender as the challenge comes in. Varela, who is back in there, and it bounces behind him. Referee Kuyper says corner England. Yeah, Chelsea on Chelsea again. Jorginho on Mason Mount. Lovely first touch from Luke Shaw as the ball was popped out to him on the left-hand touchline. Mount had made the run beyond, but Jorginho got back. He made the block another corner for England. Interesting this, Chris, after Donnarumma came for the first one. And... Uh, Harry Maguire has just got a, a message for Kieran Trippier. 
actually walks across the penalty area and shouts. I'm not sure how he's going to make himself heard. Trippier holds both arms in the air. The run is to the near post. Here's the delivery, which is headed away for Italy. Towards Shaw, who just pops it back over the top. What a pass that was from Shaw. And now Trippier again. Now Mount. Mount's ball into the box. Too close to Donald Roma, who's able to gather the ball in. And the score remains Italy nil, England 1. Luke Shaw, who's just become the first man to score for England in a final since 1966. Indeed, the first man who doesn't play for West Ham to score for England in a major final. So Manchester United are off the mark for England on the goal-scoring stakes in major tournament final football. The whistles because Italy are in possession. This won't ruffle them, of course. Well, maybe it has ruffled them slightly. Here's Di Lorenzo on the right. I'm not sure anything can ruffle Roberto Mancini. And now Verratti plays it through to the edge of the box. And then uh, as it, it's taken infield by Emerson. Emerson. It just runs into Rice, who whacks it away downfield. Yeah, and that's where Rice has been outstanding in this tournament. He's screening the England back line. And there he is again, breaking the play up. Uh, Rice, though, runs the ball out of play after doing exactly what Chris Sutton describes so 15 minutes on the clock Italy nil England won and if ever there was a start that you wanted England got it Chris oh, absolutely the, the perfect start the start that Gareth Southgate and England players would have dreamed of and now it's about seeing it through little Baratti of Paris Saint-Germain gets the ball back centrally and then Flips it out towards the left-hand side. Ferrati gets it back, but he's under pressure from Phillips. So uh, uses the two experienced old stagers at the back, Chiellini and Panucci, and then the pass over the top into the penalty area. But uh, the offside flag goes up against the run of Emerson. He took it down, and uh, it is a free kick to England. Down to pitch side. What have you spotted, Karen, down well, there? Well, I've, I've spotted Mancini's fuming. He's raging because England have tactically outdone Italy. And he's already sent the subs out five minutes ago to warm up because they can't control it. If Kane comes to feed, they get sucked in. We switch, switch it out wide. Trippier and Walker swapping. So they're nullifying the attacking side of Italy, but then pushing them the other way. He's, got, he's thinking, he's raging. He's going back to his bench. He might need to change it, but it is still early, though. Give him that. Italy nil, England one. Pickford finds Shaw. Shaw now takes it on down the left hand side. Goes past Barella, but his pass out towards Mount. He's overhit this time. That's just about the first thing he's done wrong, Luke Shaw, after a brilliant start to the match. And it's a goal kick to Italy. Brilliant pass, wasn't it, from Jordan Pickford, who I have to say I thought was slightly shaky in the game against Denmark, but that was that was a lovely range finder that. Yes, our, our reporter, who's been at St George's Park throughout the tournament, Emma Saunders, was telling me earlier that at training yesterday, England were, were working on that, the di distribution from Jordan Pickford out to the two wing-backs as they are, as we've discovered. Uh, Italy with the ball on the left-hand side, coming forward. The Azzurri blue, Stones gets up and heads that away on the edge of the box, ahead of Immobile, and then the ball bounces out to the far side, where Emerson has got a throw in, takes it back. And Italy move it in from the left-hand side with little Insigne. Emerson playing in the absence of the injured Spinazzola, who I noticed is here this evening. Oh, and cheers because Di Lorenzo's pass is misplaced and rolls out of play beyond Chiesa for a throw in to England. So it's great to see that Spinazzola has been uh, able to come to the match here this evening on his crutches. Such an important part of this, this run at the tournament. Yeah, and there's no doubt that Italy will miss him tonight. Missed him in the previous game. Set against Spain. And with Emerson at left back, more of a Fiat Panda than a Ferrari. Spinazzola was. Italy nil, England won. And Italy now bringing the ball forward from the back. Bonucci's given it away under pressure. Rice closed him down and he's given it to Sterling. And now Declan Rice works it to Mount. As Chris Sutton says, Mount playing mainly on the left-hand side in the early stages. Ball played forward and it, it comes off Di Lorenzo and bounces out of play for a, a throw 
to England. Yeah, quite a, a, a fluid system that England are playing, and there's quite an onus, isn't there, on the front two, two Sterling and, and Kane. Kane's just dropping deep at the moment, and Sterling's taking up the position through the middle. Here is John Stones, one of England's men of the tournament. Sterling drops deep for this one, then goes on a little run. The challenge comes in on him from Jorginho. And England go back into the back line again. Here's Walker on the right, Walker and Trippier. England 3-4-3, Gareth Southgate making a change with the system for this match. Uh, and then a free kick is given for the foul on Harry Kane near the halfway line over on the right. And England have uh, a free kick there after... Just a little challenge from, from Chiellini. I'm not sure there was an awful lot in that. I think, I think there was enough. Harry Kane surrounded by three Italian defenders. Chiellini eventually making the contact. Kane coming short, dropping deep, giving Benucci and Chiellini plenty to think about. They don't want to go in there with him. Free kick. Trippier drills it high to the left-hand side to Shaw, who takes it down, crosses it. He's looking for the run of Trippier down into the Italian fullback position. It's played back to the dead ball line and Italy are able to clear it with Trippier arriving at high pace there and actually clattering into the Italian defender who uh, put it out of play. Emerson for a throw into England. I think, it is, uh, I think it is the case now. I would like to think certainly that the stadium is up to the capacity for this final. And looking around the, the three tiers, red and white, in every direction, apart from the uh, the end to our left, the lower tier, and that is where all of the azuri blue of the Italian supporters, seven or eight thousand of them, and the Italian tricolore as well. Pickford clearing it long downfield, but Emerson's going to allow that to, to drift over his head and out of play. And an Italian player has gone down injured near the centre circle, and he's feeling it on the right side of his knee. Now this would be a big problem. Not sure whether that must have been in a collision, surely. And the England players are now just going over to the far side to Gareth Southgate and the water bottles. And let's go down pitch side while uh, we have this stoppage in play to Karen Carney. Oh, look, I've been really impressed with our right-hand side, Walker and Trippier, because you look at Italy's attack, it's very left-sided. And what you get with Walker and Trippier is they're both natural right-backs, or right-wing-backs, so if Insigne or Emerson do go forward, they're both comfortable at flip-flopping. So at times you see Trippier drop back and Walker go in and vice versa. But then they've got the pace and the energy to just go forward, like the Red Arrows, like I keep saying. So we really are nullifying their left-hand side Italy, but pushing them back. And we spoke about this formation. We have to push them back. Don't be concerned about them. It's all about us, and that's what we're doing at the start of the game. It's brilliant. And honestly, Mancini is beaming because well, tactically we've done, I've done them so far. Jorginho is still down on the pitch receiving treatment on what is a, a showery night here at Wembley Stadium in northwest London. And uh, Roberto Mancini has had to, to put on a rain jacket. And uh, the, the dampness means that it, his hair is plastered to his head. And this is a real concern of Jorginho, the key man in this Italian side, scored the winning penalty in the shootout in the semi final against Spain. Is going to be a doubt whether he can continue. Now he is walking off the field. He's walking rather carefully. Roberto Mancini is making signals to the, the three substitutes who are warming four substitutes on the far side. And Jorginho has left the pitch, but he's now sat down over there and is continuing to receive treatment. So Italy playing just for the time being with 10 men, Chris Sutton. Yep, there'll be no rush to take this goal kick. Just saw on the television pictures. John, Tom Cruise and David Beckham a little fist bump England mission impossible John well it could be cocktails tonight if things carry on as they are Italy with the ball down the right hand side Chiesa is on to this Chiesa now low across the penalty area but John Stones came across and was able to, to clear it partially away and then Harry Maguire finished the clearance now Declan Rice and the, the noise has just continued as Rice finds Kane on the halfway line Kane just drags it back and plays it back to Luke Shaw they love that Kane dragging it away and playing it beyond Chiesa and England have got it halfway inside their own half how sharp does Harry Kane look criticism of him at the start of the tournament 
He's absolutely flying, just watching Jorginho, he's not moving well. Yes, he's returned to the field, Jorginho. He's just a few yards away from Di Lorenzo, who heads it infield. He's headed it straight to Sterling. And Sterling now takes on and beats Jorginho easily. And then Sterling plays it. Plays it into Bonucci. Pulls still on the edge of the penalty area. And then back to Donnarumma, who clears left-footed. And uh, Italy break away. England feel like that should have been given as a foul on Kyle Walker. And now Italy come forward, and this could open up. Ball across the box. Maguire in place, and Maguire's able to clear it away on the right foot. Kyle Walker, uh, Calvin Phillips might have got himself in trouble inside the penalty area as well, but no, as the challenge comes in, it's just deflected behind for an England goal kick. Yeah, they do look a threat, Italy, down that left-hand side, the Italian Messi, Lorenzo Insigne, looks like he can cause England one or two problems, always coming on the inside on that right foot and trying to slide a pass, that time just off with the pass, Stones intercepted. Italy nil, England one. BBC Radio Five Live. There will be a 6:06 tonight. Uh, Five Live phone in with Alistair Bruce Ball, who even now will have, will be looking up the Italian from nutmeg, I'm sure. Chris Sutton, Terry Butcher is going to join you as well tonight, Chris, which is great news. Terry, who's been involved, well, obviously throughout the course of his England career, but with us as well at BBC Radio Sport with England for many, many years. So it's going to be great to have Terry on the uh, programme tonight as well. I'll let you know when the lines are open for that. But play back underway, England with Rice in the centre circle. Gives it to his left to Harry Maguire, who just shuffles forward. And now it's Luke Shaw. Goal scorer, Luke Shaw. We've never said that at an England international before tonight. Walker, Walker, high pass down the right-hand side for Trippier, who's straight in an offside position. Groves, the free kick. Italy and they will just take it and pass it out from the back well, it's a pass once again though I know Trippier was offside from Kyle Walker the raking 40 yard ball whistles because Italy are in possession ball's played through the middle but straight to Maguire and Maguire is able to turn away from Immobile and play the ball through the middle but Italy Italy have got it back in the central third here is Jorginho again. Ball forward to the left hand side to Emerson. Now back centrally. Chiellini takes it up on the halfway line. The Italian captain, Benucci, to his left. 70 years of age between them, the two central defenders. Now 221 caps for those two players alone. Still the whistles because Italy are in possession. Verratti is able to work it forward. Honestly, this is absolutely deafening. Verratti now again through the middle. The shot from Insignia from, well, over 25 yards out. And it just flies away low, harmlessly wide of Pickford's right post. Goal kick England. Yeah, good little spell lap for Italy. And Insignia off that left hand side coming into a central area. On the half turn, fires a shot 30 yards out. Scored a stunning goal against Belgium. If it's going to happen, it looks like for Italy, it looks like Insigne is going to be the spark. Kane tries to turn, but he's 10 yards inside his own half as the challenge comes in. But England were alert, and the, the right sided central defender, as he is tonight, Kyle Walker, was able to step forward. Now it's with Shaw on the left hand side. Shaw to mount her to stretch. Di Lorenzo put under pressure. <laughs> And in comes Rice, and uh, that was right next to one of those microphones. I can see it, one of those grey fluffy microphones, so you, you're able to hear the cry of anguish from Di Lorenzo as he fell to the ground. It's like playing it forward. From halfway inside their own half, good. Stone steps in so easily and gives it to Harry Kane, who has a look over his shoulder. Kane now to the edge of the box, and then turns, he's got... White shirts either side of him, but he goes back to Rice. But now Italy are back in, in position. Shaw, back to Rice. Sterling on the edge of the box. Calvin Phillips comes across and gets a touch. Calvin Phillips, the Yorkshire PLO, playing against Italy. And now Luke Shaw, ball in field from Mount. But Mount's pass was straight at Jorginho. And Italy have possession back again in front of their own penalty area. 1-0 England. Yeah. And then making a few passes and then the ball popped out 
wide to Mason Mount who's trying to play first time into Harry Kane just not quite on the same wavelength but Harry Kane is causing the Italian defence all sorts of problems Bonucci and Chiellini they just don't want to go in with him when he comes short Italy with it on the halfway line now England then drop back into position it's Barella, Nicola, Barella having just won the league with Inter under Antonio Conte Roberto Mancini over there uh, an Inter man as well with league titles as the coach of Inter before he came to Manchester City for his, his great spell there Shaw heads the ball away on the edge of the penalty area and then Mason Mount is fouled and applauds referee Kuypers a challenge from Di Lorenzo it does seem that they, England have targeted Di Lorenzo down this left hand side and he's, he's conceded a free kick yeah, had, a, had a couple of four games against Spain, against Belgium got the run around I just think Italy are getting impatient in an attacking sense a long cross field ball there from Chiellini trying to find Chiesa on that right hand side but easily cut out by Luke Shaw England out of possession saying we're happy to go into a back five but the two holding midfield players in front of us they're protecting and England looking very very solid Wembley absolutely raucous tonight Shaw, Maguire playing the ball back to Shaw and Shaw keeps it in the ball's driven forward but Maguire comes forward and hoists the ball into the centre circle this England defence just conceded one goal at this tournament so far that Gamsgaard free kick coming into this match tonight Italy had been behind in a match for only 10 minutes in their last 24 matches but we're now in the 31st minute and they've been behind since the second and Jordan Pickford in the England goal without wishing to tempt fate hasn't had a save to make yet Italy into Jorginho the Chelsea man, the Champions League winner receiving it from his club mate Emerson, Jorginho wants it again seems to have shr shrugged off that knock on the knee now Insignia carrying it forward towards the edge of the penalty area but Declan Rice steps in on the edge of the box it's lost though Italy have got it back inside the penalty area now it comes back centrally but between two of the Italian players and now Jorginho collecting the ball gives it to Di Lorenzo now here's Chiesa out on the, the right hand side just down in front of us Chiesa three England players around him and back it goes to Barella again who turns in field little touch from Verratti now uh, the captain Chiellini's out there 10 yards inside England territory this is a long spell of possession from the Italians Verratti still England just hold the line Phillips closes down Verratti comes back again Insignia puts his foot on the ball and looks for Chiellini he's almost joined the attack now Giorgio Chiellini Insignia bearded little figure now to the left hand side Emerson is there takes a touch uses Insignia now for Ratti, but it breaks down near the corner of the box and I think Emerson might have fouled Rice there no the crowd thinks so but referee Kuyper says play on 32 minutes played at Wembley 1-0 to England but a long period of Italian possession is it going to come to anything yeah it is on the edge of the box the ball played forward down the left hand side Emerson tries to reach it on the side and the referee and the assistant say he didn't get there before he pulled it across and it is a goal kick to England Emerson and Trippier having words but really good spell of possession from Italy but they didn't go anywhere with it so very pretty in possession but they're lacking that punch what an occasion this is England who were involved in the very first international match back in 1872 but in the World Cup which was first staged in 1930 and in the European Championship established in 1960 there has been precisely one final that England have appeared in until tonight and that early goal from Shaw as Kane heads it on to Sterling now Mount tries to work it back to Sterling but the Italians were there in numbers but again that movement causing problems for the Italian defence as uh, Kieran Trippier bundles into uh, to Emerson but that is not given as a free kick I think the ball was already off the field there's one long ball Harry Kane beating Chiellini in the air straight flick 
Sterling onto it, releasing Mount right hand side of the box, and Mount trying to reverse pass to Sterling, not coming off. Italy nil, England one. Just over ten minutes to go to half time on this damp night for the final of what has been a richly entertaining tournament. Great memories that have been provided for the England supporters with this run under Gareth Southgate. Italy with the ball inside their own half. The ball is hit high across the field. Taken down by Di Lorenzo. El Barella. Chiesa on the right wing. But Rice comes in with a challenge. Rice in again on Chiesa. But Chiesa's got away from him. And Chiesa now takes it up to the edge of the area and shoots that foot in, but narrowly wide of the foot of the post. Goal kick. But Chiesa one up on Rice there. Oh, absolutely crafty Chiesa gets away from short and then Declan Rice Rice gets back and he hustle and bustle goes through him and he must be what, 22 yards out shifts the ball left footed oh it's probably a yard wide of Jordan Pickford's near post down the pitch side Karen honestly as soon as he took that strike I thought it was in Pickford was rooted so we were thankful that it just went wide but starting to get a little bit anxious now the England team Pickford saying look we need to play in their half we need to keep the ball a little bit more but out of our half because the pressure is coming onto us and I'm sensing it as well all from Karen Carney and Michael Richards at, at half time from here at Wembley Stadium 10 minutes to go to the break Italy nil, England 1 Maguire hits the ball long to Luke Shaw what a pass that was from Maguire Shaw took it into his stride challenge from Barella he's got away from him Shaw now plays it across to the back post but the falling Emerson is able to clear it away back out to the side from which it came and it's a throw into England yeah that united connection long ball on the left hand side Luke Shaw on the run gets a, a cross in brilliant cross in across the six yard line it's a last ditch clearance it was Emerson he got it away Shaw takes the throw for England Mount tried to give it, give it him back it was under pressure from Di Lorenzo and falling puts the ball out of play uh, if you've just joined us the England team tonight just one change from the semi-final Kieran Trippier coming in for uh, Bukayo Saka is among the substitutes Phil Foden sadly not able to be involved at all because of the foot injury in training the other day or inside the Italian penalty area the big goalkeeper who's on his way to Paris Saint-Germain Donnarumma just putting his foot on it the ball is played back to Bonucci and then to Donnarumma again very patient from Italy Bonucci into the centre circle the flick from Immobile it goes all wrong Rice now to Kane Kane 25 yards out Italians all round him the England captain then gives it back to the halfway line to Harry Maguire then back to Kane again I'm not sure he was necessarily accept, expecting that then the challenge came in on him from Barella and the ball's out of play for what's given us an Italian throw should have been an England throw in that but that's the difference in the two centre forwards Kane is holding the ball in and linking up with his English teammates have all gone into him Mobley is bouncing off him the whole thing tonight Chris has been frantic hasn't it the action's been frantic the atmosphere has, uh, this latest piece of action uh, Declan Rice coming in for the challenge but it was overrun by Emerson who slid into the challenge after losing control of the ball and that is given as an England free kick half inside their own half yeah no great drama with that yeah, spot on John Emerson overran the ball tried to retrieve it I actually think he got a toe on the ball and catches Rice in the follow through and the England players learning from the Italians in previous games surrounding the referee the dark arts John there was a lot of talk about that yesterday Chris and I think you can guess the answer there was, oh no 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 of course not no, you know everything's above board Harry Kane goes down under it. another challenge from Jorginho that's not given as a free kick Italy break forward the, the offside flags up against Immobile this time not great body language from some of the Italian players incidentally as Immobile was caught offside but it's a free kick to England in front of their own penalty area yeah, Insigne once again Sparks gets away from a couple of England midfielders and Immobile it's just not happening for him this evening
noise continues to ring around Wembley Stadium. In actual fact, in terms of goal-scoring opportunities, there have been very, very few. But the, uh, the whole feel of the match, it's quite harem-scarum, I feel. Well, England haven't been here for 55 years, John. It's a very good point, Chris. The, the good thing is, is so far the English players have looked controlled and composed. I think it's the fans who aren't. Well, it's been a long Sunday. And here's Di Lorenzo playing it forward to Jorginho. Through the middle. It's taken on by Barella. Barella looking to Emerson down the left-hand side. And has pushed forward, I must say, whenever he can, using Insigne. Insigne back to Emerson now. Works it back, but passes it straight to Calvin Phillips, who turns. And then the ball up towards the halfway line. Harry Kane goes down under the challenge from Bonucci. Referee... Kuiper says, play on. I'm not having that as a free kick for Harry Kane. Oh, absolutely. 1v1, Benucci just reading the flight of the ball better. Kane going down, claiming for the free kick, but nothing in that. So Italy have it again as we approach half-time. We're into the last five minutes of the first half. No question what the, what the big moment of that first half was. And it came early after one minute, 57 seconds from the left boot of Luke Shaw Italy though blue shirted shirts damp and dark with perspiration and rain and then uh, Barella is fouled by Mount and Italy have a free kick out here towards the right hand side certainly a set piece situation where there will be a delivery into the England penalty area England have to organise themselves Insigne comes across Verratti is there as well Verratti says to uh, Insigne, no, you just move away. I'm going to have this one. Verratti created 12 chances already at Euro 2020. Verratti holds his right arm in the air. And here is the delivery. And it is headed away up and well by Stones. Bounces down on the edge of the penalty area, though. Jorginho gives it out to the left. Plenty of Italians still in the England box. Now, Insigne... Ball hasn't been delivered in yet. Still Italy have it on the left-hand side. Emerson, Trippier comes across. Now, out there on the on the left-hand side. Chiesa gives it back to Insigne. Jorginho, back to Verratti. Chiellini and Benucci have stayed up. They have. And Chiellini's making a run now into the penalty area. Rice has a look over his shoulder at him, but Italy still don't deliver. Now the ball again to the left-hand side. Emerson with a cross, but it was blocked away by Trippier, and it bounces into the uh, canvases on the front rows on the far side. Out of play for a throw to Italy. We're in the 30, 43rd minute now. England leading by one goal to nil. Five live, BBC Five Live, and the World Service. Listen as well via BBC Sounds. If you're taking your dog for a walk in the rain on this night of nights. Oh, the throw's been taken by Emerson, and Insigne twisting and turning. They went straight through him, the behind for a goal kick. <laughs> that was awful from Insignia. And he, <laughs> he's berating Emerson for a bad throw. Terrible control and Roberto Mancini in the rain. He's got thinking to do because his side just having trouble, Jordan Pickford. That's that one effort from Chiesa, but that was wide of the mark. It was. But England have, have played this on the front foot. But, oh, oh, Rice in with a challenge. Uh, immobile. Uh, keep Barella threw himself to the ground. Forward for England, though. Mount through the middle. I think he might have been caught late there. Ball in from the right-hand side. Then Sterling goes down on the edge of the box. They're going down like nine pins. Donnarumma underarms it out. I saw Rice try to pick up uh, Barella. Now Donnarumma is picking up Sterling. It's all terribly, terribly. As Italy bring it forward, but Rice is able to take the ball away. Rice, oh, lovely change of feet. Took Chiesa out of the game. Now he's away from Barella and Rice. Oh, couldn't find the pass through to Sterling, but I think he was caught. Well, referee says no, and, and in uh, a rather exaggerated fashion, Bjorn Kuipers, the referee, wafts his hand to Declan Rice as if to say, get up, no free kick. Yeah, I think Declan Rice was trying to buy that free kick. He's got a yard of pace, hasn't he, Declan Rice? He just keeps driving 
with the ball driving the space to really good effect here's a pass for Italy for Insigne Walker tight on him Trippier's there as well it's in the full back position Insigne still going towards the dead ball line then works it back Phillips is out there as well Italy though this could come to something Emerson into the area on his left foot but then Stone stepped in and was able to just get his right foot to it to clear it 1-0 to England half time approaching we're in the 45th minute of this Euro 2020 final England have led since the second minute here's Baratti England have dropped everyone behind the ball we'll have more from Karen Carney and Micah Richards with Mark Chapman here at Wembley at half time but Italy continuing to come forward Barella infield towards Baratti and Baratti pass over the top Insigne did get his foot to it to bring it down but Trippier was there with him and clears it out of play near the halfway line 45 minutes almost up England just a few seconds away from going in ahead at the break in the final four minutes of added time we did have the Jorginho injury that was quite a lengthy stoppage so four minutes of added time Gareth Southgate standing over there on the far side with his hands in his pockets his black knack buttoned up or zipped up I think it's a zip isn't it England take the throw and the ball bounces out of play Italy have got a throw uh, Calvin Phillips just touches the uh, Trippier just touches the ball away as Emerson was arriving on the scene to take that throw in clever had a little touch from Trippier Italy swing the ball to the right hand side looking for Chiesa but Shaw is there and is able just to calmly hit the silver ball which is banging into the hoardings down in front of us and the uh, throw in is taken quickly by Di Lorenzo Di Lorenzo now approaching the edge of the box the cross is in Chiesa with uh, Immobile with a shot that's blocked edge of the box Jorginho Verratti shoots but lack power it just dribbled through to Pickford who was able to drop down onto his knees and pack it dead yeah, you just feel England need half time there's a good ball in from Di Lorenzo Immobile half volley catches it flush not an easy chance it's just behind him and John Stones he's had an immaculate first half hasn't he the renaissance man hasn't put a foot wrong yet he gets the block in he's had an immaculate tournament Chris here's Rice on the left hand side for England we are in the uh, 47th minute we will put that down as a chance certainly for Immobile the shot that was hit into John Stones who just dropped down onto one knee well it is a Sunday isn't it I have seen the Pope is here tonight the Pope, the Pontiff the man dressed up in the uh, papal outfit in, amongst the Italian fans Kane playing the ball across the Italian half but Phillips can't reach it and now it's hit forward but there's no way that that's being reached by Immobile through the middle and England have got it back ball is passed forward but cut out on the halfway line however the ball rebounds to Calvin Phillips uh, as we get a waft of cooler air just over the top of our Perspex screens in front of us here temperature has dipped I think that has helped with the tempo of the match Declan Rice on the halfway line uses Maguire in the 48th minute now Shaw Shaw slips the ball to Mount Mount now to Sterling Sterling couldn't find Kane on the edge of the box in the D and Italy will break downfield Immobile wants the early pass Barella in fact has gone to Insigne on the left hand side now it's been taken up centrally by Chiesa but Phillips is in with a challenge there excellent work to block the progress of Chiesa Barella it's just kept in play down the left hand side by Emerson back it goes to the centre circle to Jorginho we're in the last minute and out of time at the end of the first half Italy hoping they'll get one last chance in this first period Di Lorenzo now Bonucci is going to have a goal from distance but that sails away from 30 yards or more and there are accusing glances from a number of the Italian players towards the, the veteran Bonucci for having a goal from there well I've seen him strike them in the past but this is optimism in the extreme and Roberto Mancini off the bench he's furious with the decision making there from Bonucci he should know better but I think England have defended deep and have frustrated the Italians over there on the Italian bench I'm now seeing those 
Those beautiful pale blue blazers being unveiled again as the coaching staff peel off their raincoats and gather at the mouth of the tunnel. Still we play on at the end of this first half. Chiellini's down on the halfway line. Long ball played forward. The referee Kuypers says, that's your lot. And I mean, the referee, Bjorn Kuypers, all in pink. Uh, he's been a central figure because this has been a tough match to referee. He's needed all of his experience. And Chiellini is getting to his feet and, and having a little word there with the referee. But England lead at half-time in the final, thanks to that fabulous early goal from Luke Shaw, Chris Sutton. Yep, not a sure thing yet for England, still work to do, but I think they've been very good in this first half. They've done an Italian job, you could say, defensively on the Italian team. Jordan Pickford, very little to do. England go in, 1-0 ahead, 45 minutes left. Not a sure thing, are you sure about that? <laughs> Down to Karen, pitch side. I'm just watching... There's been some altercation, I think, between the subs. The Italian goalkeeper there is going off in a bit of a huff. Frustrated, but that sums up their first half. Italy, England have been sensational. But in particular, our right-hand side, Trippier and Walker, because everything good that Italy do comes down their left-hand side. So Trippier and Walker have got to be on it at all times. There's, as long as they nullify Insigne and Emerson on that side, I'm telling you, we'll win the game. Half-time, it's Italy nil. England won. Thank you, Mark. And I do sincerely hope that there aren't people listening to us now in their cars who haven't been able to get inside here, even though they had a ticket. That would be awful. So, second half. England about to kick off. Raheem Sterling gets us underway. And England playing from left to right in the second period, as they like to do. That's where the... The massed support is. That's where the England band are. That's where the supporters club, the England supporters club, that's where they are in great numbers. Just behind Karen Carney, who's down at pitch side. So Italy nil, England won, and the teams as they were at the start of the match. So Donnarumma in goal for Italy. Di Lorenzo, Bonucci, Chiellini and Emerson back. Jorginho with Barella and Verratti either side. And then Chiesa, Immobile and Insigne up front. And England with Pickford in goal, three central defenders, Walker, Stones and Maguire. Then the four, Trippier, Phillips, Rice and goal scorer Shaw. Then Mount, Sterling and Kane. England with Harry Maguire who just plants the ball out of play and actually kicks it into the assistant's flag on the far side, knocks it out of his hand. A throw-in taken by Italy, wearing the Savoy blue of Italy. Shirts, black shorts, blue socks, cross from the right is blocked out of play. England all in white tonight, red numbers on the back, that little stripe down the side of their shirts. The throwing is taken and it breaks down. The return pass straight out of play from Di Lorenzo and it's a throw into England in their own left back position. The camera, that camera on its strings hovering high above the pitch. The Wembley arch, grey skies beyond it is just beginning to be lit up in turquoise. And here's Harry Kane now, breaking away. Oh, and the challenge came in and caught him on his right ankle. Here. Barella, and there it is. Finally, the first yellow card of the match. Bjorn Kuypers couldn't, couldn't resist that one. Kane does brilliantly. Ball into him, turns, drives away from Barella. He brings him down. And had to be a yellow card for Barella. It's good from Harry Kane, though. That's what he has to do. Hold on to the ball, link the play up. It'll be interesting to see how England approach the centre half. Got a, uh, the second half got a little bit deep towards the end of the first half. Ball pumped forward and headed out of play. So Shaw will have a throw in for England, level with the edge of the Italian penalty area. Luke Shaw scored in the second minute his first goal for England in his 16th appearance and Shaw now gets away down the left hand side puts it back he's on his left foot finds Sterling in the box Sterling now bursts through oh the challenge comes in Sterling goes down Sterling's pleading for the penalty who's Benucci in with a challenge but referee Kuypers on the edge of the box threw both arms into the air and said no well no doubt they'll be checking it what do you think well the referee with his arm in the air Sterling got to say as previous I think England were fortunate to get the penalty against Denmark in the semi-final maybe as the boy who cried wolf looked like to be 
there to be contact but just how much did he need to go down Raheem Sterling ball hit forward Trippier stretches for it on the edge of the box Pickford comes and just puts his left foot through it and hits it almost directly at us he's, he's still having words with the referee Raheem Sterling here we are well an angle on it on our screen it's not saying that VAR are looking at it Chris we're looking at it now he's got Bonucci's coming in on one side of him what do you think no, I think he overran the ball on the rumble was there so it's Italy with it on the right-hand side. And at, at no stage did I see on the screen that there was a, a VAR check, so Jon Kuypers was adamant that was the decision. And it remains Italy nil, England 1. Italy playing from right to left towards their own supporters, who are all in the mainly in the blue, the, the, the white and greener, dotted around the, the thousands of Italian fans. And Italy with it on the halfway line. Ball played forward by Jorginho. Now it's near the edge of the box. Insignia turns in the D. Sterling comes in with a challenge. Insignia goes down in the D, and that is a free kick to Italy on the edge of the D of the England penalty area. <laughs> And Insigne, there is contact from Sterling, Insigne gets his body in, he knows the foul's coming as well, he knows what he's doing, such a clever player Insigne, but this is a real opportunity, clumsy from Sterling, centrally isn't it, the free kick, what, 22 yards out, just about the perfect distance. Right decision though. It was a foul. So Emerson's actually standing again. Set piece man to the right of the ball. But in senior as well. And again, as happened in the first half, Emerson does two big strides, but I think it's more likely to be in senior, isn't it? Here comes Emerson, no stops. It is in senior, curls it over the wall and just over the top right corner. And yeah, senior. Once again, Emerson feints to shoot. That's no, a poor free kick in the end. Three strides. Tries to go Jordan Pickford side. Pickford on that side of the goal. And the ball goes a couple of yards wide. Really disappointing effort from Lorenzo Insigne. So it's Italy nil, England one. Long ball from Pickford. That's expertly taken down by Harry Kane on his chest. Gives it to Trippier, his old teammate at Spurs, but Trippier, the ball bounces back onto him as Emerson comes in with the challenge and it's a throw into Italy. Just taken back into the penalty area to Chiellini, Giorgio Chiellini, 37 next month, now out to Benucci, and the whistles, oh that's given, given away by Di Lorenzo who passed it straight into Sterling, but it then start out of play off the, the Manchester City man and it's a throw into Italy just a little further on and level with their edge of their own penalty area so England lead by one goal to nil Italy driving the ball forward Calvin Phillips put in the challenge Rice takes it on Rice then gives it to Harry Kane England have got Mount and Sterling in the box but England don't deliver it and it's taken away by the punched figure of Chiesa who's over the halfway line now Immobile through the middle Insigne is there as well Chiesa a long high ball right across the penalty area but leaping high above Insigne which admittedly isn't difficult to do is Kyle Walker who heads it back to Pickford he's a flying machine isn't he Kyle Walker gets up brilliantly the crossfield ball and composed as you like Italy of subs stripped and ready to bring on well you thought Chris didn't you that, that Italy might have to change it as uh, Italy win it back Chiellini challenge win it back from Sterling yep double change for Italy coming up Immobile Calvin Phillips is all over him though and Italy are forced to go back towards the halfway line Man pairing around there as well here's Emerson though Emerson now is able to take it on he's got Insignia to his left he uses Insignia Insignia all right footed now into the penalty area from the left still going curls it oh hits it wildly wide and it bounced out of play closer to the corner flag than the goal yeah do you know what though Insignia Kieran Trippier showed him the inside he doesn't want to be doing that that's into his strength on his right foot don't want to give him too many sighters tries to find that far corner was a wild effort Trippier has to show him the line this is 5 Live and the World Service we're also going out across 
many of England's BBC local radio stations as well. You can listen on BBC Sounds, Italy nil, England one, and you can also listen to the five live commentary with the BBC TV pictures if you wish, if you've got an HD television via iPlayer. Lovely shimmy from Rice in the centre circle. Mount now, allows Short to take it on, and then the challenge comes in from him. The ball bounces out of play to throw in to England. Italian double change going to happen shortly. Cristanti is certainly one of them who's coming on. A piercing whistle from referee Kuypers. And so we will see who's going to come off first. And that is uh, Barella who is trotting off. So he's on a yellow card. And uh, the Inter man is replaced by Brian Cristanti of Roma. It is Immobile who makes way again. Failed to score in the knockout stages of this competition. And he is going to be replaced by Berardi, Domenico Berardi of Sassuolo. Yeah, that, that, that's a really interesting change that is. Berardi. Who challenge on uh, this is Benucci. Benucci put the challenge in. The referee wants to have a word with him. The challenge on Raheem Sterling. Yeah, yellow cards out. It's Benucci book now. Second Italian booking. Here's a throw in. Short to Sterling. Sterling has a little look behind. Sees Benucci coming. Flicks the ball past him. And Benucci, Italian style. Lair shall not pass. Yellow carded. Yeah. Free kick then. Free kick for England on the left hand side. Set piece opportunity. Haven't been too many of them in the match. Only had three corners in the game so far. So England have this set piece that is going to be taken from out there on the left-hand side. Actually, the referee's got a problem at the moment with his communications. So that is being fixed before Luke Shaw sends this in. Shaw standing there, shorts down to his knees, long sleeves on, one foot in front of the other, standing a la David Beckham the way he used to stand before taking three kicks. He's watching down from the stands on that side of the ground. Shaw takes the free kick towards Maguire, who got up but headed it over the top of the bar I think he might have been leaning on the defender as well but it's a, it's a goal kick to Italy and England continue to lead 1-0 so how have they reshuffled this Chris Italy well Insigne is through the middle yeah and Insigne through the middle Chiesa who started on the right out to the left hand side and Berardi a left footer bit of a fiery character he's gone to the right hand side will come inside try and get shots off with his left foot here's Chiesa on the left now though into the penalty area drives a left footed ball across the box Insigne is still going shoots from the angle it's pushed away by Pickford two defenders went with Insigne there and Pickford was able to make the save it's a kind of clawing save at the near post I'm not sure actually whether it was on target it might have just been flashing across the six yard box but he pushed it away anyway the England goalkeeper still England 1-0 but Italy in possession, having made the changes, we'll have to see if that's going to revitalise Roberto Mancini's team. Italy with Verratti as they play towards our left. Here's Jorginho. Jorginho looking for Verratti. In fact, it's Di Lorenzo who takes it up. And then, uh, oh, it's a poor touch on the far side. The ball just runs away at Di Lorenzo and it's a... It's gone out of play in the other corner, flag for a throw into England. Yeah, and just seeing this this chance for Insigne. It's Chiesa who shoots from the left-hand side of the box. It takes a deflection off Trippier. And Insigne, the ball lands at his feet. A couple of quick touches with his right foot. The angle against him fires a shot. It may have just been heading into the far corner, but Pickford with a smart save. Italy having a good spell here now. England leading through the Luke Shaw goal. This is the Euro 2020 final here in July 2021. Italy with Verratti. Jorginho, Jorginho turns and just touches it back into the centre circle. And so Bonucci finds Chiellini. Chiellini then to Insigne. England have led since 1 minute and 50 second, 57 seconds into the final. Well, that's a poor ball from centrally from Jorginho Italy did well actually to keep it in play and then eventually it 
it bubbles out of play on the far side for a throw into England level with the edge of their own penalty area yeah you can see Roberto Mancini cuts a frustrated figure in that Italian technical area you can see the idea they're going to try and play through England still got the option on the bench of Bellotti who's more of a, an old fashioned number 9 someone you can cross the ball into but with Insigne centre forward showing his hand to try and play through the England back line England can't get out at the moment Italy pressing them back into their defensive third despite the odd Italian error Italy come forward again Italy who have not won the European Championship themselves since 1968 despite all of their great achievements in the World Cup since then this is their 10th final in either the World Cup or European Championship as you will know only England's second here's Verratti low ball to Insigne on the edge of the box comes back and Jorginho thought about having a goal gives it to De Lorenzo on the right De Lorenzo lifts the ball across the penalty area it's chested down on the edge of the box and the referee is spotted I think a handball in there by Chiesa and it's a free kick to England he gets to his feet he puts his hands in a sort of playing motion in front of his chest he looks oh, aghast Emerson in fact wasn't at the ball Emerson takes it on his chest and then it does hit his left arm I don't know what he's complaining about ball stood up from the wide area you think that, that Gareth and England would be quite happy with big high crosses coming into the box with Insigne as the central striker and no great height in the wide areas you would have thought so wouldn't you 1-0 to England we've got half an hour to go but only one goal in it Phillips to Rice Rice now takes it on through the middle still going but the pass through to Sterling was over hit and it just runs away through for Donnarumma to move to his right and pick it up that, that ball looks like a little marble in Donnarumma's hands as it's played back to the edge of the box and uh, De Lorenzo up the right hand side to the newly arrived Tristante who finds Rice arriving putting in the challenge to put it out of play he has covered some ground in this match Declan Rice He's covered some ground in that whole tournament He's been outstanding for England he started more matches than anyone else in this epic season for England well every international team but particularly these two this is England's 20th match of the season Italy down the right hand side the ball flicked forward but Pickford is coming and Pickford dummies as if to clear it then takes a touch and then whacks it away downfield Bonucci's underneath that Italy nil, England 1 if you've just joined us Italy coming forward again, here's Chiesa, turns meaningfully into the penalty area now, he's on his right foot, this could be trouble, right foot shot, Pickford gets down and makes the save. Full length this time, Chiesa, the danger man, saved by Pickford. Yeah, and off the left hand side, driving in on his favoured right foot, manoeuvred the ball brilliantly, a shift, another shift, and then he fires the ball towards the far corner it looks like it's creeping in but Pickford gets down great save ball into the England penalty area again but this one's comfortable for Pickford who's able to move across and just control it trap it with his left foot but certainly uh, Chiesa he's the man for the big occasion that's how they know him in Italy and he's already scored here in two of the matches that Italy have played that struggle against Austria and of course the goal against Spain on Tuesday night he was very nearly in there for another one but Pickford to the rescue brilliant save down to his left Pickford but England just inviting I think too much pressure in this second half however that will relieve the pressure as the ball is played downfield Mount running shoulder to shoulder with Di Lorenzo and he headed it behind and it's a corner to England good run from Mason Mount to try and stretch that Italian back line an ageing Italian back line this gives England a bit of respite now well Roberto Mancini has made his two changes England, Gareth Southgate I don't see Steve Holland over there they'll brains trust for England Gareth Southgate in the buttoned up Mac on the edge of the 
coaching area, just shifting from foot to foot. England then with a corner, four men in a group near the penalty spot, Sterling further forward. Here's the delivery, Stones with a header, but it's over the top. However, Donnarumma got his fingertips to that, I'm fairly sure, even though it might have been going over and it's a second consecutive corner. Ball whipped in from Trippier. Oh, it's off John Stone's shoulder. And Donnarumma gets a big finger to it and tips it over. Stones will be disappointed. He hasn't scored. Another corner from the left. Trippier with the delivery to the near post this time, and this is Bonucci who's underneath it to head it away to Luke Shaw near the halfway line. But that, I think, I think that's England's first attempt on goal in the second half. But they lead by one goal to nil. It was tense, I believe. So I've heard the stories over the years, back in 1966, in the final against the Germans when they equalised right at the end of normal time. And there's just something about this, Chris, which makes me feel that we may yet have drama. What do you think? Yeah, and no doubt England have had to weather a bit of an Italian storm at the start of this second half. He expected the Italians to show more. Ball played forward for England, but Donnarumma is there. Feet wide apart as the ball bounces up and he clutches it in front of his face with Mount arriving. A lot was made of how England saw the game out against Denmark the last couple of minutes. They need to show that composure again here in the second half. It's Italy who are really dominating the ball. Italy on this 33 match unbeaten run they don't know what the feeling of defeat is like wearing the Azuri shirt anymore here's Verratti Verratti, little ball forward Insignia back towards Di Lorenzo now Berardi on the right hand side Berardi running at shore but Berardi has to check back and give it to the other substitute Cristanti Brian Cristanti can't be too many Italians who are christened Brian you wouldn't have thought here's Insigne now to the right hand side to Di Lorenzo now forward of the centre circle Jorginho and the Italians are just knocking the ball around inside the England half England sitting right off them Verratti shaven headed right for the ball works it to Chiesa on the left hand side even Chiellini's up there Chiesa plays it into the back post and the final touch is off an England head in there and an important one as well from Harry Maguire to take it beyond the far post for a corner yeah, this is crucial from Maguire as the ball shifted from Chiesa onto his favoured right foot and it, Cristante's in behind him and Maguire heads the ball over his own bar to safety these are tense moments now England with a slender 1-0 lead but Italy with a corner from the right which is delivered into the near post glanced across the face of goal there's an Italian gone down and the ball is buried in the net Italy have equalised and it's Bonucci who was there in the six yard box the veteran central defender forced it over the line it rattled around in the six yard box and we're back all square in the final Italy won England won well you've got to say you felt it was coming the Italian fans behind the goal go wild Bonucci with a tap in it's from a set piece England don't clear the lines I think Pickford makes a great save somewhere in there Italy win the first header debatable whether Chiellini's asking for a foul from John Stones looks like he's going to tap it in and then I think it's Verratti with a header Pickford it's a brilliant save the ball crashes off the post and there's Bonucci a yard out pops it in easiest finish he'll ever have in his career and he celebrates wildly Italy all square England concede for the second time in the tournament and that means it's all square and we've got a quarter of the match to go and Bonucci absolutely loved that his eighth goal for Italy he leapt up onto the hoarding is in front of all of those thousands of Italian fans in the end to our left and celebrated wildly let's go down pitch side to Karen Carney oh look the whole stadium's rocked I'm looking at the stand behind me everyone is silent it's like I've seen a ghost there's no reaction we need to get behind the guys again look the pressure was coming over to 
Emerson taking the ball on up towards the edge of the penalty area. Insignia is there as well. 1-1 the score now. Chiesa dips his shoulder, takes the ball out towards the right-hand side. Italy are going for it now, having rocked England back with that equaliser. Still Chiesa on the right, drives it right across the penalty area and out of play for a throw-in in the England right back area so Chris Sutton what does the England approach need to be I see that Steve Holland is over there with Gareth Southgate the double change that Roberto Mancini made that revitalised Italy absolutely and the substitutions is made throughout the tournament Mancini has always had a reaction his Italian team have deserved the equaliser you have to say that and England have rattled they're shell shocked they need to get the composure back Try and control the ball, keep possession for a period. It's all Italy, though. Yes, it is. And it was a terrific save by Jordan Pickford in the midst of all that. It might easily have actually been a foul by Stones on Chiellini in the six-yard box. But Verratti, he didn't know that. Pickford made the save onto the post, but it bounced perfectly for Bonucci just a couple of yards out to fire it into the back of the net. Scruffy goal but Italy will take that and it's 1-1 and it feels like the momentum is with Roberto Mancini's side Italy now down the left hand side for Emerson here is Verratti but Walker is able to come across and block it out of play for a throw it's the Italian fans you can hear over on that behind Jordan Pickford's here goal Saka John so it's Bukayo Saka and that is here in Trippier who is coming off well, well England can't get up the pitch they need a ball carrier, maybe Saka is the man to do that. So Kieran Trippier is replaced by Bukayo Saka. And the, uh, this 19-year-old Londoner from just down the road in Ealing originally, where he was born, on he comes to take his place in this England lineup in the final here at Wembley Stadium and see if he can do for England what Mancini's two substitutes did for, for Italy and try and raise the England tempo Kane on the halfway line is blocked the referee's not having that either the challenge from Jorginho Harry Kane gets to his feet having been very much involved in the game in the first half Kane, Sterling they can't really get into it in the second because Italy are dominating and England change of formation this is you know, and he thought that Gareth would start the game with that back four now well this is the team that started against Denmark with Saka coming on for Trippier so Gareth Southgate looking to, to recapture a bit of the spirit and the play that we saw against Denmark when England over the piece with a better team yeah, Insinja's a massive problem for England is playing in that central role now coming deep turns so sharply buzzing around linking the play up England need to come up with something try and just have five minutes keeping possession the Italians with the momentum the lines are open for 6.06 by the way Chris Sutton will be with Alistair Bruce Ball and Terry Butcher 08085 909 693 to have your say Harry Kane turns, tries to give the pass to Saka, but Emerson was able to get there first for Italy. And, uh, and the Italians have it again in front of their own penalty area. Wembley's been good for the Italians and for Mancini, who's an FA Cup winner here with Manchester City, remember. In this tournament, came through against the Austrians, came through in the penalty shootout against Spain, and now they've come from behind against host nation England Insigne on the left in comes Walker with a challenge that bounces out of play going to Italy 10 yards inside the England half difficult period of the match this for Gareth Southgate's team remember in the last Euros France lost as the hosts in the final to Portugal Verratti takes a throw back to goal scorer Benucci and Benucci's ball over the top Pickford's after it it's driven goalwards by the arriving Berardi and England were fortunate there that his volley took it over the top oh, what a ball what a run
from Berardi, Benucci, inch perfect, and I think Pickford just does enough as the ball coming over Berardi's left shoulder on the volley, Pickford out, I think Berardi sees him out the corner of his eye, and it's like a scissor kick motion, goes three or four yards over the England barber, England have to watch that. That would have been a fabulous goal if he had scored. England breathe a sigh of relief though that he didn't and now Gareth Southgate has decided it's time for the experience of the Liverpool captain Jordan Henderson and he takes the place of Declan Rice in midfield Jordan Henderson coming on for England for what is left of this final this is a, just a case jump simply a fresh legs fresh impetus 1-1 Calvin Phillips in on the challenge but Italy have it back again we're heading for extra time as things stand Chiesa playing it through the middle now here's Insignia turns gives it back on the edge of the box Pickford is able to step forward as it bounced away from Tristante and the England goalkeeper was able to snatch it up from the grass once again Insignia the Italian Messi he was called earlier on in this tournament on the half turn little ball into Tristante who makes a driving run forward and a heavy touch from Prestante and Pickford gathers uh, Italy come again England can't get out Insigne turning giving it to the left hand side Chiesa is there he's got space into the penalty he goes and then across comes Walker and he's able to pass it forward towards Bukayo Saka and uh, the ball bounces up and strikes Bukayo Saka's hand there's just this feeling at the moment that the things are going against England every little Every little 50-50 is going Italy's way. You say that, but England are playing with fear at this moment in time as Italy, with the confidence, they defensively they're a back four, but when they're on the ball, it's a three. They pile players forward. Italy continue to have possession in the middle of the field. The England crowd is trying to do its bit. Chiesa plays it through, but Maguire steps forward and is able to, to bring it yeah. forward, but just clears it out of play yeah. on the halfway line. Yeah. I mean, Maguire in his own half there just pumps the ball into the crowd. The England players ahead of him just aren't showing for the ball. And at the moment, you have to say, John, they're looking like lambs to the slaughter. It's wave after wave of Italian attacks. This is going badly wrong for England at the moment, even though the score is only 1-1. Chiesa looks as though he's just got out of the bath and walked onto the field. He looks as fresh as a daisy. Italy playing the ball back to Verratti. Verratti, here he is, Chiesa again. Phillips trying to reach him. Insigne as well, he's a, a little bundle of energy. And then Italy play it back towards the centre circle again. Absolutely no question. Roberto Mancini's team are on top here. Whistles from the supporters. But England, England just needs something. Jordan Henderson is there trying to trying to bring that energy and trying to bring a bit of his leadership to the affair. But Italy dominating the possession now. Less than 15 minutes to go. And it feels like England are clinging on. Chiellini works the ball to Emerson then back in field the question is whether Italy are going to be able to be ruthless enough to finish England off 1-1 the score well, they're, they're working so hard out of possession England the Italians are stretching them moving them around Phillips is able to step in Harry Kane had his shirt pulled there Henderson stabs it forward Chiellini forward from him ahead of Saka Maguire now centre field Maguire goes down the referee gives the free kick England's way as it was being carried forward by Chiesa the free kick England the Azuri, they're swarming all over England high pressure Jorginho he's the leader of the press there was a foul on Maguire you just wonder can England can they counter against this Italian team Mason Mount with a touch over there he's barely been involved Mason Mount in the second half seen nothing of Sterling either uh, as Maguire brings it forward he was fouled again another little foul this one by Jorginho 
free kick to England. And the player looked to the referee with a sort of resigned look. Uh, free kick, it's taken short. Calvin Phillips has it. Walker on the halfway line now. Saka receives it just down in front of us on the right hand side. Saka now uh, hitting from Karate and he takes his legs, takes the legs of Saka. Can't uh, get away with that, Karate. Well, I think he is going to get away with it. Free kick to England and that's all. You think from Gareth Southgate's point of view, get Saka on the ball. 1v1 situations against Emerson. Test him out. Chris, do you have a feeling here that maybe England's best chance in this match might have gone in the first half when they were when they were on top? If you say that, this Italian team, they're a great Italian team. If you want to win a tournament like this, you're going to have to weather a storm, and there's been some storm in this second half. England have weathered. It's 1-1. BBC Radio 5 Live. Phillips takes it short, fires it into the penalty area onto the head of Chiellini who nods it down and then the ball is played forward but it bounces off Saka back to Chiesa. Chiesa again down the left hand side, still going. Saka's been able to get back but Chiesa's still going and then Phillips, Phillips comes across and is able to get an important touch on the edge of the area uh, and then Saka again is tripped, this time by Verratti again and it's a free kick for England and Chiesa's down in a heap on the edge of the box. Gets the ball on the touchline on the left-hand side and Kyle Walker saying, go on then, push it, beat me in a foot race. Chops on the inside, I think Walker gets back, there is a coming together. Yeah, and he's, uh, Bjorn Kuypers has signalled on the medical people so they're going to come and have a look at him on the trot. And uh, we'll have a little stoppage here which might be welcome for England. Italy 1, England 1 is the score on this Sunday night on this cloudy, damp summer's evening here at Wembley Stadium. We've got the Open Championship for you next week. We'll have the preview on Wednesday night. We've got the Olympics from the 23rd of July across the BBC. And it's all over Five Live. And then we'll have more Premier League commentaries than anyone else next season. From Friday the 13th of August, it's only a few weeks away. But the summer of sport continues. But which way is it going to go in the big final here at Wembley tonight? Still, Chiesa is receiving treatment. Let's bring in Karen Carney. Karen, the action's all at the other end in this second oh, no. half from where you are. I know, I'm really nervous because it's that end. But look, Steve Holland's come down. Whenever he comes down, he's got this tactical information. He's speaking to Raheem Sterling and Luke Shaw, who are closest on his side. And he's literally signaled to them, get on the ball. You need to be brave. We need to be braver in possession. We cannot hide in this moment because we're taking pressure and pressure and pressure. We need to get on the ball, whether it's dribbling, passing. We need to gain more territory into this half. Still Chiesa is receiving treatment. So this is a lengthy stoppage. 81 minutes on the clock. Discussions going on down there on the pitch between England players. Raheem Sterling standing in between Jordan Henderson and Kyle Walker. This would be a big blow for Italy, wouldn't it? Because Chiesa has been such an important player for the Italians. Offered a real threat. Especially on this left-hand side. Coming in on his right foot. And he's not moving well at all. Well, he's got his right boot off. He's got it in his hand. Mancini calling. Substitute up. So there will be a change. Well, that is a, that's a severe loss for, for Italy. Chiesa has been outstanding. And uh, Bernadeschi. Uh, it's going to be Bernadeschi who's coming on. Federico Bernadeschi of Juventus. So that is it. Chiesa just limping off the field, son of the famous father, Italian international, Enrico Chiesa. And uh, yeah, he finally makes his way over the white line and play resumes before the substitution is made. So England are playing just for the time being, for a few moments at least, against 10 men. Italy won, England won, if you've just switched on. What a night it's been. High emotion feelings running high both inside and outside Wembley Stadium tonight we'll have more on that later as well the difficulties that they've been outside of the ground this evening some really concerning stories about some supporters getting into the ground others not being able to get in 
and Chiesa has come back onto the field hence the chorus of boos Mount on the left hand side for England Mount plays it back to Shaw and now Shaw wriggles his way on down the left wing and plays it to Mount and Mount's now in the box across it goes to Saka it hits Saka and bounces down and it bounced right into the path of Chiellini who was onto it like, like a youngster like a stripling and cleared it away Chiellini the old man the captain of the Italian team England come again and that's the best we've seen from England I think for the whole of the second half from open play at least 1-1 the score so Chiesa is back on Bernadeschi is still ready on that far side of the ground just behind Roberto Mancini England played to the right hand side to Walker Kyle Walker wants Saka to come close which he does and the Arsenal teenager then stabs it back to Phillips Phillips was caught by Insignia and that's a free kick to England halfway inside the half towards the right hand side on a yellow card as well to Insignia for that challenge just caught Phillips late Chris yeah but that's the best spell England have had in the second half making a few passes all played back from Saka into Phillips who takes the touch Insignia goes to the ground he catches him halfway up his shin deserved yellow card and an opportunity for England from this free kick so Mason Mount is there Jordan Henderson comes across and he puts an arm around the shoulder of Bukayo Saka and then points towards the penalty area and then Jordan Henderson trots away and takes up a position on the edge of the box not, a, not another Henderson goal surely that would be too much to ask so it's a free kick for England Italy hold the line just outside their own box Mount with the delivery right footed towards the back post looking for Stones there was a juddering collision there Stones keeps his feet Shaw arrives on the volley but sends it high and away over the top of the bar into the England fans behind the goal and it is 1-1 and we have less than five minutes to go and Bernadeschi is coming on now for Chiesa he's had a goal and he's clearly decided he's not going to be able to continue so on will come Federico Bernadeschi to win his 34th cap the Juventus man came on as a late substitute in the in the semi-final if you remember and took one of the penalties against Spain on Tuesday night but he's had a very good tournament Chiesa Chris Sutton he has and I think this is a big big blow for the Italians but a good second half Chiesa integral in much of their forward play and it'll be interesting how the Italians shape up now and where Bernadeschi fits into this Italian team looks like he's gone to play centre forward and Signia out to the left Bernadeschi at his best off the right hand side coming in on his left foot Italy with the ball on the edge of their own penalty area extra time is not far away just over four minutes of the 90 to play 1-1 but Italy have bossed it in the second half Verratti Verratti puts his foot on the ball plays it back to Chiellini behind him darkness now at Wembley all of the floodlights in full effect as the ball is played through for Italy but Bernadeschi can't reach that and it runs away through to Pickford who's able to pick it up so once the final is over we'll bring you the presentation we'll bring you live interviews from pitch side and then it'll be the 606 phone in to talk about it but England are just hanging on there in this final and oh we've got two people who've run on the field and uh, it's actually one person who's pulled his shirt off and um, and stewards are trying to, to catch up with him and he's uh, being chased away I just hope he doesn't run into any of the players that's all this is, this is the last thing we need and he's eventually run off the field and he's been, he's been caught up by the stewards so the players have got a moment or two and in fact he's managed to get away from them again and he's still running around on the field and uh, eventually he runs out of steam and he's going to be taken away and I, I wouldn't be at all surprised if he was one of the unpleasant individuals who've been able to get into Wembley Stadium without having a ticket and off he goes what a moron so that, that will mean that we'll have some time to be added on at the end of the match well, well, it, well it's a shame John isn't it you know second half England have really struggled to get out and you know Italy have been in the ascendancy and it's just disrupted the flow of the game so it is Italy 1 England 1 
we might well have extra time on the way Pickford gets the ball under control and gives it out to Stones flights it forward towards the halfway line and then it comes off the head of Emerson it's out of play for an England throw so if you haven't heard goodness knows what have you been doing but England took the lead in the second minute through Luke Shaw brilliantly worked goal and England really had the spirit of Wembley behind them in that opening period but Italy have more than worked their way back into this and Benucci equalised in the second half but here's Sterling now setting off on a run into the penalty area still going blue shirts all around him takes it to the byline but overruns it couldn't pull it back Saka and Kane in the middle but but Sterling that's the electricity that England have been missing in the second half absolutely haven't seen this enough Sterling driving on the inside positive play little shift past Benucci and it just goes over the byline but more positive in the last 10 minutes from England but Italy have got it again in the 89th minute I think there'll be at least four, maybe five, maybe even six minutes of added time at the end of the 90. All square. I don't think it's the biggest shock of all time if this final goes to extra time this evening. I know quite a number of the experts were suggesting it could go all the way to penalties. Verratti passing it forward. Phillips there. Excellent little interception from Phillips to take it away from Cristante he carries it out to the left hand side Sterling is there Sterling comes in field uh, goes down was he caught no says referee Kuypers no free kick for Sterling no free kick for England now Bernadeschi has it on the halfway line for Italy it's taken out to the far side he puts in field and then Calvin Phillips is there again for England to uh, block it out of play referee Kuyper says that's a throw into England which Bernadeschi can't believe runs towards the referee gestures here and there yeah not enough in there Sterling goes to ground too easily as the boy who cried wolf isn't he and that's the problem gets a reputation for himself for going down too easily and the referee not buying it I think we might need some energy drinks Chris in a moment or two for half time and whatever what else might follow but Italy have got it back a goal now would probably see whoever scores it crowned European champions and there's another piercing whistle from Kuypers because it's a foul this time on Raheem Sterling and ironic cheers because Sterling has got a free kick for England but it's only seven or eight yards inside the Italian half it is six minutes of added time six minutes of added time so a set piece Shaw is standing there with his foot on the ball not unlike the pose that Bobby Moore strikes his statue outside Wembley Stadium on that side of the ground Shaw waiting to take this free kick Harry Kane the England captain tonight furthest forward in the middle Henderson there as well the central defenders of course Shaw high and in towards Maguire who gets up heads it across the Italian box but that's one against Stones on the edge of the area and then there's a trip in there on Verratti and it's a free kick to Italy and we've already played over a minute of the six of added time he's been influential hasn't he Verratti in this second half for the Italians snapping and snarling like an Italian Jack Russell isn't he Italy take the free kick and then shuffle it towards the halfway line and then yap yap here's the little Italian Jack Russell Verratti gets it back from Jorginho and Italy just holding possession inside their own half really tense anxious moments in this final here at Wembley and Italy work it down the right hand side Cristante swings over the cross but beyond Insigne he couldn't reach that well, Walker's gone with him Kyle Walker has managed to dispossess him that's a nice ball from Henderson but it was read by Chiellini who just moved across glided across he, he might be thinning on top but there's plenty going on inside that head of his yeah. uh, he got there before Saka no, I think Saka had a little look saw him coming out of the corner of his eye Pickford's long pass oh it's glanced back by Bonucci to Donnarumma that was cool that was cool by the other man at the back for Italy a yeah, little thumbs up to Donnarumma there from Bonucci yeah class from the two of them within the moment within a few seconds of one another now 
the ball's been driven forward by Jorginho. He has Emerson on the left-hand side, still 1-1. In added time, Verratti. Italians playing it up towards Emerson. Chiellini is there. Gets there and uses Emerson. Now it's back towards Verratti. And then uh, again, Verratti receives it. Italian players with dominating the possession statistics. There's no question of that. Chiellini again. Chiellini almost on the left wing. Verratti now. Verratti back onto his right foot, plays it square. There's no one's through the middle for Italy at all. No, they're, they're playing with a false nine, aren't they? Bernadeschi just dropping into those areas, trying to draw Maguire out and Stones out. We're in the 94th minute. Extra time, just a couple of minutes away. Verratti, Bernadeschi's come short. It's played square towards Jorginho. Tristanti is furthest forward, but it is Berardi who then rolls it back into the centre circle. And Italy, surely they, surely they will have a dart and try and win it in normal time, you would think. Insigne plays it back, still patient from Verratti. Verratti now, Saka cuts out that pass, Henderson lifts it forward, Kane gets a touch, but there's no one up there for England, and Chiellini can just come back and take up possession for Italy again. Kane is so deep, England are so deep, you just wonder whether Gareth's missed a trick, not making another change, getting a Grealish on, or somebody who can hold on to the, hold on to the ball. Well, he's, the ball. he's made only two changes so far, Gareth Southgate. And at the moment, you're struggling to see, apart from perhaps a set piece, how England actually might trouble Italy. Forward it goes. On the right-hand side, Tristante. Now Berardi. This could be dangerous. The ball's lifted in towards the back post. Walker chests it back to Pickford. <laughs> that was cool. That was cool, all right. <laughs> he done that. Come on, Walker. Long one downfield, but there's no chance Mount will reach that. It bounces through to Donnarumma. We are almost into the very last minute of added time. That it's still Italy 1, England 1. It's hardly mouth stuff, John, wasn't it? Walker. There is space over there on the far side. In fact, the ball's played through the middle. Calvin Phillips, importantly, went with it and was able to hook it away under pressure on the edge of the box. Kyle Walker, England just hitting it long now. Harry Kane with a challenge, but Bonucci comes across, he wins the header, Bernadeschi through the middle, uh, Bonucci has taken a clattering from Harry Kane in that challenge, Saka then wins it back for England, Jordan Henderson takes it down, volleys it forward for Saka, Chiellini's come across, oh he's pulled him over blatantly, Saka went round the outside of Chiellini, and it was almost like, it's like something out of the cartoons, the way that Chiellini got a hold of the scruff of Saka's neck and pulled him back and it's a free, free kick for England a yellow card for Chiellini I mean that's that's an assault isn't it from Chiellini he's trying to let the ball run out of play Saka just creeps in behind him and he's going to get away and Chiellini knows he's not getting back and hauls him down like a wrestling move as I say, it was like the cartoons, the legs were going, the legs were whirring around, but he was holding on to the back of his neck. Italy won, England won. Last chance then for a goal in normal time. Fired forward by Phillips, uh, headed away for Italy, and there it is, the final whistle. 1-1. After England led at half-time, that early goal in the second minute from Luke Shaw, and with a better team in the first half, the system worked well but then Italy have absolutely dominated it in the second half and England really at times have been at sixes and sevens Bonucci got the goal from close range after Pickford brilliantly saved Verratti's effort uh, Verratti's effort onto a post but it's 1-1 and the way that the game has gone heading into extra time are we saying Italy big favourites Chris Sutton? I think so I wouldn't be surprised if Gareth May changes England are on the ropes they need smelling salts it has been so one-sided the second half Italy deserve to get back into the game they've been the dominant force and going into extra time you've got to say I'm worried for England so Italy won England won and the final goes to extra time no further changes for either team at the start of extra time oh no hang on there is there is going to be a change and it's uh, it's the rooster Chris Andrea Bellotti they call him the rooster 
and he is going to come on so they are going to have a, a man through the middle that's what uh, Roberto Mancini has decided and it is uh, little Insigne isn't it who's made way so Insigne is off and the uh, the Napoli captain makes way and is replaced by the Torino captain Bellotti who's yet to score at the tournament but has certainly played his part for Italy having come on now in five of the six matches so off we go in extra time in the Euro 2020 final and immediately Verratti closes down John Stones and the ball bounces out of play for a throw into England over there on the on the far side I, I just wonder with, with the Italian substitution there whether Insigne has an injury of some sort because he's such a live wire such a creator for the Italian team they've gone a different way now where we'll see Bellotti he'll play up against the English centre-halves John Stones and Harry Maguire may like that better I think they struggled with when Insigne was dropping in to little pockets of play and the same with Bernadeschi Bernadeschi over to the left-hand side now so the Wembley crowd the attendance by the way 67,173 for this European Championship final England's first final since 1966 got off to a roaring start just a few seconds after the red arrows roared over the stadium Luke Shaw with a, a blinding goal but Italy slowly but surely have taken charge and here they go an extra oh and England players gone down and has clattered down to the ground it's Jordan Henderson and as the ball was played past him there was a collision there and he, was, he took a right crack I think on the head and, uh, and has gone down in the, in the right back position yes as he, uh, he actually ran into Emerson mm. as he chased Bernadeschi down the left Emerson knows what he's doing the old basketball block that John from Emerson and Henderson's got straight up and hasn't needed any treatment or a check at all and he did seem to take quite a clatter there to me Chris no he did he did but good to see him up and back on his feet it is so Italy won England won BBC Radio 5 Live and the World Service many of the BBC's local radio stations listen as well via BBC Sounds late night drama for you from the Euros the last night of the Euros and uh, a high foot <laughs> has made contact with Harry Maguire's face and Berardi's all full of apologies but um or was it just a hand? I think it might have been the side of his hand flicked him in the eye and it's a free kick. He lifted his foot but I think it was a flailing arm that caught Maguire. Pickford plays the free kick out to Stones on the right hand side. They're really getting after it. England, the Italians, pressing high. I don't know, Micah touched on it. But the need for you know, Gareth to maybe use his bench. They haven't, they haven't held on to the ball well. I think it's crying out for a Grealish. Crying out for a Grealish, I would agree with you, Chris. Yes, Mount. Mount turns on the halfway line. Shaw receives it from him, but he has two Italians immediately closing him down. Wins the throw in. There's no sign off movement over there on the England benches, but I think Italy are preparing at least one more change. Away over on the far side, next to the mouth of the tunnel, where it says the final written above the tunnel entrance. Oh, England take the throw short at Phillips, who just passed it straight out of play at close quarters and the two of them exchanged words just had a glance at one another Linkatelli who's stripped and he's had a good tournament and can't get in the Italian starting lineup. yep started the tournament Locatelli and now um, oh, Raheem Sterling has conceded a free kick and uh, Jorginho had a little had a little go back it was Sterling just leaned in and then landed on Jorginho and Jorginho didn't think much of that Chelsea Manchester City that one Italy won England won and here is uh, Chiellini and Bonucci bringing, bringing the ball out from the back Bonucci he was the man who came up with the, the equaliser that was in the 67th minute Italy trailed for a long long time well, 65 minutes in the match. Going on holiday together, John, after the tournament. Benucci and Chiellini. Chiellini, yeah. yeah. Where do you think they're going? The, uh, the uh, Amalfi Coast, maybe? <laughs> and the ball is played back 
to uh, to Bonucci. Bonucci, a long right-footed ball. Pickford comes and makes a comfortable catch under no particular pressure. So England have got it again, and uh, Locatelli is waiting to come on. The number five over there, another one of the Sassuolo crew in this Italian squad, and. Uh, Stones, 4-2, Phillips, Phillips to the left-hand side to Shaw, Shaw rolls the ball up towards Mount, who took a heavy touch there, the ball rebounds in field, Henderson, lovely pass from Henderson to Sterling in the box on the left-hand side, but then who arrives on the scene, sliding in to block it behind for a corner, Chiellini of course, <laughs> and look at his celebration, Chiellini sticks out his chest, as a heavy touch from Mount, and England away with it in the ball I think it's a ricochet goes through to Sterling is driving the left hand side of the box and all of a sudden from nowhere Chiellini comes across and makes a block yeah Chiellini was pleased with himself there and, uh, and rightly so as well it's Verratti who's coming off Locatelli coming on for Verratti so a straight swap I say Chiellini's often pleased with himself uh, we didn't incidentally see any of the antics for the coin toss at the start of extra time that we saw with uh, oh no that was actually before the penalties wasn't penalty, it? Yeah. that was before the penalty between Kane and Chiellini corner for England Shaw takes it towards the back post it's headed out it's headed out to Phillips Phillips drives it low across the face of goal for a crowd of players I think Donnarumma was a little concerned but it was wide probably by a couple of yards or more actually oh, the ball sits up 23, 24 yards out. Phillips off the chest, yeah, it's four or five yards wide. It's a clean connection, but well, wide of Donnarumma's right hand post. So uh, now we're into extra time. That means a maximum of six substitutions. And for Italy now, that is five. So Roberto Moncini still has one left up his sleeve that he, I don't know if he needs perhaps to make one for penalties. So we've had uh, six minutes of extra time. Italy won, England won. And Italy now bringing the ball towards the halfway line. Scooped through the middle. Headed forward. Maguire underneath that. Here's Harry Kane. Had a quiet second half, certainly. Henderson takes it on from him. Oh, but Henderson's pass with the outside of his boot is some distance behind Sterling and just bounces into the hoardings for a throw into Italy. And England, I have to say, they've just been really ragged I think Karen Carney's got some news that England supporters might want to hear Karen absolutely Jack Grealish is coming on but I'll throw it back to you now they're on the attack Italy because Di Lorenzo is coming down the right hand side Di Lorenzo's ball into the box Maguire was there to clear it uh, Bellotti was putting him under pressure might have fouled him it's out of play no it's, a, it's only a throw in a throw in uh, Jorginho has got the ball at the moment Di Lorenzo is feeling the side of his hip but uh, he's okay yep Jack Grealish is coming on, he's lifting his feet and working off his tracksuit bottoms. Jack Grealish about to enter the final. And I agree with you, Chris, I think it needs something like that. And, and the one thing, of course, we know that he can do, well, one of the many things that we know he can do is get the ball downfield, carry the yeah. ball downfield. Italy, though, coming forward. And uh, Stone steps in. Bellotti hits the shot, it hits the back of Maguire which took the pace off it and it bounced across the penalty area and Pickford sprinting to his right got to the ball and, uh, and actually is told just to calm it down and overarms it out what a throw that was goodness me I think he's been on his spinach Jordan Pickford hurled it to the halfway line to Mount Mount plays it in field but the referee says hang on we're going to have the substitution first and it's Jack Grealish coming on in the 99th minute just waiting to see who's going to be re it's uh, Mason Mount who's left the pitch just down here so on comes the Aston Villa captain into extra time to see if he can make the difference and if he can this place will go absolutely mad yeah we know the England squad got a good luck message off Tom Cruise and here's the Maverick Well, if Tom Cruise is still here, and there's no reason to suggest that he wouldn't be, maybe he'll see a little bit of Jack Grealish in himself, a little twinkle in the eye, perhaps. Maguire plays the ball down the left to Shaw. Grealish makes a run into the box, Shaw with a cross. Paul oh, Chiellini wins that against Kane. 
Phillips now on the edge of the box. That looked like a high challenge. Phillips went down. Two England men down. Phillips and Kane. Shaw with a cross. That took a deflection. Took it out to the edge of the box. Belotti hooked it away, right footed over his shoulder. Don't get that one, John. I thought Phillips was fouled and there was a little advantage for England. They pushed out on the left hand side. It would have been a good shooting position from a free kick. Well, the crowd, I think, have been revitalised by the arrival of the ever popular Jack. Jackie Grealish, who they sing about. Ball comes back to England inside their own half. It's 1 1 if you've just joined the drama. Back it goes to, uh, to Jordan Pickford. You can hear our commentary, by the way, the Five Live commentary via the iPlayer, synced up with the pictures. The, the match is on BBC One television as the ball is played forward and uh, Bellotti has come back from an upside position. Has a moan about it to referee Kuypers. But it is uh, a free kick. Bjorn Kuypers just holding his hand high. He's a millionaire, apparently, Bjorn Kuypers. Supermarket millionaire, the referee. Doesn't need to do this. Short, playing the ball down the left to Grealish. Grealish into the penalty area now. Defenders with him. Grealish holding it up. Drags it back. Still the ball at his feet. Still inside the area. A little flick to Saka, but the touch from Saka was heavy. And it bounces away through for a goal kick. But that, right there, is Jack Grealish giving the Italians something to think about. Absolutely. In on the left-hand side of the box. Takes the ball. Dribbles the ball. And the Italian defenders don't want to commit. Little back heel to Saka. Didn't quite come off, but that's what Grealish can give this England team. Some invention. You can see the Italians, a bit of fear there from their defenders. Yep. 1-1 one, one remains the score. It's the ball pumped out on the far side. And it's an England throw. And uh, the referee is just stopping play. And in actual fact, he says, yes, it is uh, an Italian throw. This seems strange. So it's a throw into Italy. Gareth Southgate actually fielded the ball and threw it back for Italy to take this throw. The boys and girls of the Ryslip Rangers uh, are back on duty again tonight as they have been here at Wembley all the way through the tournament doing a fine, fine job. Great memories for them. What a night for them. Could get better, it could get worse. Maguire sends the ball forward, but under pressure, just overhit that and it just drifts out of play. Halfway inside the Italy half. So 1 1, first period of extra time heading towards its conclusion. We have uh, two minutes of it plus added time to go. England have, um, have steadied themselves, I would say, in this pe first period of extra time, Chris. Yeah, they have done. I just sensed a bit of frustration in the stadium when Harry Maguire looked up. It wasn't a pass on, nobody showing for the ball and just hooked the ball out of play. That's twice he's done that now in this game. Italy played through the middle. Bernadeschi is under this. The ball out to the far side. Walker slides in, gets it. Oh, Walker's been beaten in the challenge. Now here's the cross in the middle. Pickford with a save. It's driven goalwards and it's wide. It was hit goalwards by Parati in the end. And it was thumped away, back downfield by the Italian player who was coming back onto the pitch. Kyle Walker goes to ground against Emerson and the ball's whipped. And I tell you what, Pickford does really well. The ball fists across the six-yard line. I think Bernadeschi who gets in front of Pickford. Any sort of touch, he scores. But Pickford, I think it comes off his thigh. Eventually the ball is fired wide. He did really well though, Pickford. Just threw himself at it from the uh, the low, powerfully hit cross yeah. from Emerson on the left-hand side. Two Italians arriving on it. And Pickford is really brave. He I just mean, gambled, didn't he? Gambled. Brave goalkeeping. Just took a chance, threw himself at it and got the block on it, the important block to, to keep it at 1-1. He's done well tonight, Pickford, it has to be said. Again, there were questions about him after the Denmark game. Bellotti is claiming that Stones has fouled him off the ball. The referee said, I saw that, to John Stones. But Italy have got it inside their own half. We're in the last minute of the first period of extra time. Italy, a long ball over the top towards the edge of the area. Harry Maguire wins that ahead of Locatelli comes down for Bernadeschi Locatelli again edge of the area shot is hit blocked back to Locatelli England can't get it away in the D they do now through Calvin Phillips who volleys it into the centre circle Harry Kane is after this Kane uh, Saka tried to hook it forward and now Kane slides in again that is given as a free kick 
Jorginho on the wrong end of this one free kick to Italy and Harry Kane rather exasperated Harry Kane he's not had a chance in the final the England captain not had a chance to score yet no yet I think his link up play was excellent in the first half but England have just been so deep in the second half Italy have dominated it's the same story in extra time so one minute of added time here's the curly head Locatelli onto it on the right hand side his cross is straight at Maguire who's able to adjust and then Grealish is shoved over by Di Lorenzo welcome to the game Jack I'll concede that free kick halfway inside your half he does well though Grealish because he sees Di Lorenzo coming it's a really daft challenge it's Grealish halfway inside his own half has nowhere to go wins the free kick pressure off Italy won England won 15 minutes of extra time to go once the whistle goes which it will do very shortly but not yet as Pickford's long pass headed away Henderson nods it out to the left hand side Saka challenging for it Shaw is there as well Kane puts in the challenge the bouncing ball the referee says that came off an arm I think of Locatelli it was a bouncing ball it was awkward Kane and Locatelli together and it's a free kick to England set piece situation yep spot on the decision the referee four or five yards away and this is a good position only 15 yards out from the edge of the box on the left hand side Luke Shaw over it can he get the delivery spot on? Big moment this. Chances for England have been few and very far between. Luke Shaw, we need to see that delivery that, that he produced in Rome against Ukraine. Shaw standing. This is 15 yards in from the left touchline. So it's a good position to deliver from the angle. Shaw lifted high. Two Italians end up on the turf. And the ball is headed onto the roof of the net from the far side by Jordan Henderson. But the whistle had long gone for the free kick. Italians all over the turf. The whistle goes and off they all walk towards the halfway line. With the score, half time and extra time, Italy won, England won. So stay tuned. Players are ready to start the second half. Rashford is not coming on quite yet, Chris Sutton. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Come on. Well, I'm thinking that England are on the ropes, some of it, with Micah on this. I think if I'm an England manager, I'll take penalties, but we've seen England dig deep under Gareth Southgate before, and maybe they can snatch something on a counter-attack and have players who can hurt Italy, but Italy have been so, so dominant, haven't they, since half-time in normal time. And Italy now playing from right to left in the second half. The blue shirts with the gold numbers. It's England all in white. Rashford still with his training top on. Oh, and Stones puts in the challenge on, on Bellotti, who was looking to turn it and, and rather dived in. And it's a free kick and it's a yellow card. He was looking to turn and it was Maguire who came in with the challenge, actually. And Harry Maguire is shown the, the yellow card for for that foul from behind on the Italian number nine and the free kick in a, uh, in a central position best part of 30 yards out so the players milling around on the edge of the penalty area uh, Jorginho is there Bernadeschi is there Bernadeschi looks as though he'll be the, uh, the man to take it Bernadeschi it's similar range from uh, Denmark scored from it is similar range maybe Damsgaard was a little to the right but it is similar range so Jordan Pickford standing on his line hands on the top of his hips three man England wall in the D Bernadeschi waits it's going to be a left footed free kick steps up now hits it low and it's straight at Pickford who juggles it but then gathers it at the second attempt as Jorginho arrives just too late for Italy oh, left footed around the wall straight at Pickford who fumbles <laughs> Jorginho nearly got there Pickford gathered at the second attempt oh, oh Chiellini looks a bit stiff here crikey 
ball downfield, bounced off, bounced off Sterling onto Chiellini off the pitch, and Chiellini there. Now he did look, uh, he did look like a veteran. However, it's out and it's a throw-in, throw-in to England. Second period of extra time, 13 minutes away from penalties. Walker stands with the ball spinning in his hand, and then up he comes, pulls it in. Maguire's after this flicked across the box Grealish with the shot but that's blocked by Di Lorenzo comes out to Saka on the edge of the penalty area Saka leaves it to Kane Kane dinks it back in diving header oh no the goalkeeper by Donnarumma just got there ahead of Stones who threw himself at it he was diving forward Donnarumma was diving out and the goalkeeper got the touch to it England continue to press Saka it runs away from him and then it's cleared away by Bonucci on the edge of the area this has gone up to the halfway line Italy break forward Locatelli looking for Bellotti he gives it to Bellotti left side of the box Bellotti across to the back post Shaw is there for England and the offside flag is up well that's a that's as exciting a period of end to end play that we've had in the entire 109 minutes <laughs> what a 60 seconds we've just had first of all the cross goes in Grealish gets a shot in Di Lorenzo brilliant block ball goes out to Harry Kane edge of the box he hooks across him right footed and in swing a Donnarumma comes flying out gets a hand to it and then it's Italy breaking out offside eventually the Luke Shaw nervy clearance there it's ok Shaw BBC Radio 5 Live Italy 1, England 1, the World Service are with us, all of the local radio stations around England, from Cornwall to Kent, from the Norfolk Broads to the Lake District, and up to the very top of Northumberland as well, listening in to Italy 1, England 1, Rachel Burden was at the National Football Museum at breakfast on 5 Live in this morning, in the morning, will she have anyone to talk to or not, penalties on the way. Gareth Southgate waiting on the side of the pitch 25 years ago in the Gareth Southgate his England team it all ended on penalties here at Wembley Euro 96 I have to confess I've, I've always had a bit of a feeling that penalties would come into this somewhere for Southgate's England Harry Maguire now centre of the field taking the ball out towards the left hand side to Shaw Shaw forward to Saka Saka plays it back to Maguire needed to be quick there but the touch was good from the Manchester United captain Stones shapes the pass to Henderson now on the right Walker arriving Italian shirts getting back into position Henderson Henderson plays it all the way back towards the halfway line still 1-1 110 minutes appears on the clock Walker square from him to Calvin Phillips Bellotti it forces Phillips to turn away turn back towards the halfway line Maguire to Shaw on the left hand side but uh, England are just playing in front of Italy at the moment here it is up with Grealish expectancy rises Grealish goes on a run out towards the right hand side across the edge of the box Sterling to Henderson back to Sterling in the box Sterling gets away the challenge comes in on him excellent recovery from Chiellini outstanding Chiellini and Italy are able to clear and Stone sets it down and England threatening here that they might finish strongly uh, 10 minutes to go brilliant defending from Chiellini 1v1 Sterling looked like he's gone past him but big left boot from Chiellini Grealish again Grealish past Bernadeschi Grealish still going cutting in field plays the ball out towards the left hand side Shaw's onto this against Di Lorenzo and then Shaw's ball back doesn't find Saka and Italy are able to clear it away downfield and suddenly England are revitalised on they come again Stones to Sterling what a wonderful ball that was from Henderson by the way through to Sterling when Chiellini put in the challenge ball out to the far side from Henderson this is hooked away for Italy and the ball just bounces harmlessly near the halfway line the crowd, this crowd of over 67,000 have waited for a long time in this match for, for England to come again but here, deep in extra time England are threatening to do that Phillips, Maguire, now it is Shaw on the left Saka and the crowd want to see Grealish get the ball simple as that 
Stones. Now out here on the right hand side to Walker. Walker just passes it through to Henderson. Henderson has a look in field. Harry Kane is available there. Kane now through towards Sterling. Sterling in comes the challenge on him. Grealish slides into it. The ball comes away. Grealish is caught. The reaction there was quite dramatic from Jack Grealish. The two players arrived at the same time and Grealish has, has spun onto his left. Chiellini is unhappy with that. The challenge from Grealish. Chiellini saying his little bit about this. Callum Phillips is in there as well. Now there's an Italian player down. The two of them coming together at the same time. And Grealish is, uh, is still on his side. He's, he's lying on his left side. Two players sort of spun in together for a 50-50 ball. There is a yellow card in the hand of uh, referee Kuypers. And it's Jorginho. This is Jorginho came in. Oh, Jorginho stepped on the ball and then stepped all across Jack Grealish's right thigh, his groin and his left thigh. Well, I think Jorginho gets a bit of the ball, but it's the follow-through isn't it and Jack Grealish sitting up now I think that's a scandalous challenge I do surely be here I'll ask to have a look at that absolutely I think Jorginho I think could have seen red there I think Grealish it will be okay because it was all on the meaty parts of it oh no he did he caught him on the knee as well actually just seen another angle now he'll say he got the ball first but I'll tell you what I think that's a red jump well, we've not seen on the screen a suggestion that that's going to be AR. And the yellow card is out. Jack Grealish is up, pleased to say. Jorginho is still there as well. Yellow card is shown. Uh, let's go down to Karen. Uh, I think that's reckless, completely reckless. And you can tell by a player, especially Jack Grealish, we know he's, he gets fouls a lot, especially in the Premier League, but the way he reacted, how he went down, I knew that was bad. The stadium knew that was bad. That was a shocking challenge from Jorginho. And, and I'd be fuming, and I am fuming. Grealish is OK, that's the main thing. But that's certainly a talking point. And, and as far as I can tell, and listen, the communication about VAR has not been absolutely outstanding during the uh, tournament, even though the system itself has, has worked rather better. Jorginho was clever there, though, because he, he goes down as well, like he's injured. Free kick to England, though. Six minutes to go. Phillips curls it in high. Donnarumma comes and makes the catch high above Maguire. And uh, he actually might have caught his own man. I think it's Di Lorenzo. And then the booze because uh, Jorginho comes back onto the field. And Italy are back up to the full complement. Four from uh, Calvin Phillips. Too close to the big Italian keeper. And he plucks it out of the sky. Italy won. England won. 6.06 will follow after the end of the final however long it takes in the presentation and once we've chewed it all over it'll be Chris, Chris Sutton along with Alistair Bruce Ball and special guest Terry Butcher the former England captain who will be sitting on the edge of his seat I'm sure Terry watching this one Italy won, England won and uh, Italy with Ferrucci and Chiellini together Less than five minutes to go. Penalties await. It had to be, didn't it? Gareth Southgate standing coolly on the far side of the pitch with his hands in his pockets. He's taken off the mat. The wet evening has dried up. And it might be penalty kicks. Emerson, though, plays it into the penalty area. Bernadeschi with a shot on the turn. He's saying that it, it came off the arm of Stones. Referee Kuypers, though, was was less than 10 yards away and immediately ruled out that that might be a penalty off the body of stones yeah not so sure it hit him on the arm but that was from very close range as well that would have been extremely harsh great appeal though from Bernadeschi <laughs> uh, the Italians are good at that Pickford I think we are going to see Rashford and Sancho coming on that, that has to be with penalties in mind two penalty takers now here is Saka on the left hand side Saka takes it to the byline and Grealish is in there as well uh, the ball bounces away off Grealish behind goal kick says referee Kuypers very calmly and, uh, and England still have three more changes they could make actually 
but it's going to be a, an Italian change first and it's going to be uh, Florenzi the right back the uh, the right back who's been a Paris Saint-Germain this season Alessandro Florenzi who will take the place of Emerson and then England I think are also going to make their two changes now as well so the boost as uh, the Italian change is made so who's going to make way for England we are only two and a half minutes away from penalties Rashford and Sancho not coming on just yet and uh, Florenzi has actually come across to play at left back so Di Lorenzo stays at right back Florenzi at left back throw in for England halfway inside their own half as in as at this stage of extra time the goal now would probably win it whoever gets it would be European champions Ball's out of play on the on the far side. Still no, still no board up for the subs. Uh, they're all stripped and ready to go. Yeah, fourth official's lurking as though he's he's ready with the numbers, but I think England have said no, not yet. Not yet. We're in the 119th minute of this Euro 2020 final. Underneath the, the turquoise arch of Wembley Stadium. Well, well England have got the hope the Italians don't keep the ball now another minute and a half yes that's a very good point Florenzi plays it in field here is Jorginho Jorginho back to Bonucci and then forward from Tristante now Florenzi down the left wing Florenzi's cross comes off Jordan Henderson and spins behind it's an Italian corner but are England going to make the change now? Yes, they are. And it's Jordan Henderson who's coming off for, uh, for Marcus Rashford. So Jordan Henderson, as a substitute, is going to be substituted. Remember, he missed the penalty in the warm-up match at Middlesbrough when he made his return from injury. So perhaps there's sense there. He missed the penalty in the... Uh, in the Columbia match at the World Cup as well, in the shootout there. So off comes Jordan Henderson. On comes Marcus Rashford. Finally into the action. He's just been a fringe figure for England at this tournament. And the other change sees Kyle Walker off for Jaden Sancho. Interesting how England shape up. No? For the remaining seconds. Well, it's a corner big moment this Bernadeschi to take the corner for Italy England must defend this if Italy score they're the champions in it comes a glance across the penalty area and it's beaten everyone in there Chiellini ended up on the ground on his knees at the far post Italy continue to press Grealish with a challenge controlled at the near post by Phillips and then left footed volleyed away downfield I make it the 120 minutes are up. We are seconds away from penalties. In fact, there are three minutes of additional time. Three minutes of time added on. England stand off Italy. Uh, Di, Lorenzi, Di Lorenzo then goes down under pressure from Saka. And it's Marcus Rashford at right back, John. How many times has he played there in his career? Disappointingly, Chris... I have to say, I don't know that, but I know what I'd guess is the answer. So they are running at Rashford, and it's Bernadeschi. Rashford in with a challenge. Well, well done, Rashford. Not the most cultured challenge I think I've ever seen by a right back in my time, but he got enough on the ball and he actually played it off Bernadeschi and out for a throw into England. Maybe a future. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a He's future. Defending like that, yeah. 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 Stones with a throw. And he leaves it, just bounces it into the ground for Rashford to take. And everyone here and everyone around the country, I reckon there'll be close on 30 million people watching in this country on television tonight. We're going to have a penalty shootout, it would seem. Sancho, Jaden Sancho, loses it on the halfway line. Jorginho plays it through. Now it is uh, centrally for Italy with Locatelli. Chiellini is calling for it on the left wing instead it goes to Florenzi Chiellini on the overlap he didn't use him he went back inside towards Jorginho 
square now. Di Lorenzo's joined the attack. Italy might have one last chance here. One last chance to win it and break English hearts. The ball swung into the England penalty area, but beyond the far post between Pickford and right back Rashford, who allows it to go through for a goal kick. And I'll make it, we have 40 seconds to play, Chris Sutton. Yeah, dangerous ball in from the right hand side. Fizzed in, left footed, all the Italian forwards on the heels. I just wonder though, John, whether the Italians will feel they've done enough to to win this game. Second half performance, they've been the dominant side in extra time. I can actually see the uh, the pulp who's standing in the crowd right behind the goal that Pickford's defending. The man dressed as the pulp. Italy have got the pulp on their side inside the ground. And penalties come. That's a worry. A throw-in for England down the right. Seconds to go. Seconds to go now. England, in some ways, have done very well to get this far. And it is penalties. Penalties will decide the Euro 2020 final. Bjorn Kuypers blows the whistle and it's finished 1-1 after extra time, Chris Sutton. Yeah, when we go to penalties, Italy, very strong finish to the game, England holding on, but I'm heartened with a stat, John, which I've been sent from little Bruce Ball that no team has ever won two penalty shootouts at the same European Championship. Italy have already won one. Italy won one in the last round. There have only been three penalty shootouts at Euro 2020 before this. And in them, France lost to Switzerland, who lost to Spain, who lost to Italy, who are now about to play England. Well, I feel that this has been a, a story that is there to be written. After Gareth Southgate's experience 25 years ago, missing the crucial penalty in the semi-final for England and now he's the manager and it's gone down to a penalty shootout in the final to decide if England can win a trophy for the first time since 1966 Italy to go first Domenico Berardi a left-footed penalty against Jordan Pickford who is sent the wrong way and Berardi gets Italy off to a scoring start in the shootout 1-0 yeah cool as you like from Berardi left footed Pickford dives to his left hand side Berardi sends him the wrong way and here comes the England captain so it's Harry Kane who missed the penalty in the semi-final in extra time Harry Kane who scored England's first penalty in the shootout at the World Cup in the last 16 when England had never before won a penalty shootout at a World Cup. Harry Kane, four, five steps back. Donnarumma on the line. Kane comes up and, oh, he beats him and scores. Donnarumma went the right way, but Kane put enough on it and it's 1-1. Now, yeah, boy, did he mean that, Harry Kane. Real conviction. Whips it across Donnarumma. Gareth Southgate, little fist pump there. Next for Italy, it is Andrea Bellotti who came on as a substitute. Bellotti who has not scored at the tournament. Places the ball on the spot. One big stride back and then three, four, five. He's standing in the deep. Jordan Pickford comes off the line. Pickford jumping up and down, touching the crossbar. Still jumping. Bellotti waits. Penalty shootout to decide the final of Euro 2020. Here comes Bellotti and Pickford saves! Down to his left! Oh, the cheers! Advantage England in the shootout. Now he reads it brilliantly. Jordan Pickford is not a good penalty. Pickford gambles to his left-hand side. Not the direction, not the pace from Bellotti. England have the advantage. Harry Maguire, who scored the first penalty when England were involved in the shootout in Gimaranch in the Nations League back in 2019. So it's Harry Maguire to shoot England ahead in the shootout. Donnarumma on the line. He looks so big. 
Maguire comes up. Oh, and puts his foot through it and rattles it into the top of the net. And the ball bounces back to him and he picks it up and he jumps and gives a fist bump to the crowd. It's 2-1 England in the shootout. Have some of that Italy. Maguire laces that. I mean, that goes into the top corner, the roof of the net. That's a stunning penalty. Three Donna Rummers wouldn't have saved that. It's Bonucci next, the man who scored the goal to equalise. Now he is a regular Italian penalty taker. Scored in the Euro 26 quarter final against Germany. So it's Bonucci for Italy now, a little stop and then a very good penalty high above Pickford who went the right way, but it's in. And it's back at 2-2 and a clenched fist from Bonucci to his teammates standing in a line on the halfway. Pressure penalty. Stutters, stops, has a look at Jordan Pickford. And then he whips it to Pickford's right-hand side into the top corner. So Pickford has already saved from Bellotti. Donnarumma has been beaten twice. And then the Donnarumma saved from Maratta, crucially in the penalty shootout here on Tuesday it's Marcus Rashford Marcus Rashford scored three out of three penalties for England in his time scored in Moscow in the World Cup shootout he's only just come onto the field here though late on in the extra time so it's Marcus Rashford who steps out towards the left a little stutter and then oh hits the post and misses Donnarumma went the wrong way but Rashford went for placement and hit the post and it remains 2-2. Took a After long time. Each team have taken three penalties, Chris. Took a long time, didn't he, to take that Marcus Rashford. Slow run up, looks at Donnarumma, sends him the wrong way, but then hits the post, agonising for England. So it's all square at 2-2 after three penalties each. It's Bernadeschi now. The Italian number 20 with the dyed blonde hair, Jordan Pickford on the line again, clapping his hands, all animation. Bernadeschi left footed, sends it down the middle. Pickford leapt to his right with the ball in the back of the net, and Italy now 3 2 up. And a good penalty, Bernadeschi goes down the middle, Pickford goes early, throws himself to his right hand side, advantage Italy. So now it's the other substitute who is brought on with penalties in mind, Jaden Sancho, who I would guess in the next few days will complete his big money move to Manchester United. He's just been a peripheral figure at these European Championship. And now Jaden Sancho. This to make it 3-3. Jaden Sancho comes up, a little delay, and it's saved by Donnarumma. Down to his left. Sancho misses it remains 3-2 Italy and if they score the next penalty Italy are the European champions and England will lose in the final yeah, and the irony is it's that the two subs the specialist penalty takers who have both missed Sancho telegraphs that Donnarumma down to his left hand side comfortable save and Giorgino could have possibly been sent off John could have been sent off that will be the talk after the game but it is Giorgino who scored past Jordan Pickford just a few months ago for Chelsea against Everton in the Premier League Pickford must save this if Giorgino scores Italy win and Gareth Southgate's England will lose in the final on a penalty shootout so Jorginho now sets up and there's the little delay and Pickford saved it oh my goodness down to his right got his hands I think he pushed it onto the post oh oh have you ever still 3-2 to Italy so Bukayo Saka now 
the 19 year old has to score this has to score this to keep it going to take it to sudden death Saka is already waiting it's not a long run up it's a left footed penalty here he comes oh he saved it got a runner saves England missed three consecutive penalties in the shootout it's poor Bukayo Saka who misses the crucial one but Donnarumma almost unbeatable there and Italy win it Italy win the penalty shootout they're European champions again for the first time since the 60s and England Gareth Southgate's England losing a penalty shootout in the final what a twist what a terrible twist for England And the Italian players all stream downfield and pile on one another in front of the stand. And the England players, they go, Gareth Southgate has gone straight across. Gareth Southgate is there now with Bukayo Saka, who is inconsolable. And Gareth Southgate, this, this feels like, this feels like the ages all coming together as the man who missed the penalty for England 25 years ago knows exactly how Bukayo Saka will feel and he is there, the England manager and, and now the rest of the England players join as well and Gareth Southgate moves away but that's it, Italy have won it it's Italy's title 1-1 one, one after extra time and 3-2 in the penalty shootout Donnarumma outstanding two saves from Sancho and then from Saka and it is Italy who become European champions for the first time for over half a century 